Welcome to Cologne, Germany. We are here for the heart of the German FC Pro scene. Across the next two days, we will see the virtual Bundesliga conclude as we look to crown another champion here. Of course, I'm not on my own for the next couple of days. Ryan Pessoa is along one side of me, Richard Buckley in the other. We've basically got our own front room, haven't we, here in Cologne for the next two days? <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to invite you to watch some of the best German FC with us. It's going to be a little bit more relaxed it is. than your standard broadcast. <laughs> We're going to have guests on. You're going to be with us the entire weekend. It's going to be a good vibe, and we've got the chat open, the entire broadcast as well. So we're going to be talking to you, we're going to be interacting, taking your questions, asking people. You never know, we might even get a little Anders Vergang guest appearance on the couch as well. Ryan, it feels good to be here. Yeah, it feels good to be here. Of course, a league that I've admired from since I've come into the scene, it's been a, a league that I've admired. A lot of players involved that have become world champions in previous years. The talent is... <laughs> honestly, the list goes on with the amount of talent av available in this competition. If, if you were playing now, would you fancy a little spin in this league? Or oh, was Anders Berg scaring you You know off? what? This would be a league I'd avoid. You've got Umer, you've got <laughs> Anders, you've got, Ed, you've got Johnny, you've got Dullin Mike. The list goes on. So yeah, not for me. Well, we're going to keep you up to date with what's been going on here in Cologne. Basically, we're joining the tournament from the round of 16 because there's been Swiss rounds taking place yesterday here in Cologne. There was some also this morning whilst we were travelling over from Italy we were, yesterday. Yeah, we you, may, you may have had enough of us by now uh, on the EA Sports uh, EAFC channel. But, look, we're here for the next few days. If you are watching on the Twitch chat, say hello. We can see you right now. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. We're going to be here for the next, as we said, couple of days. But as we said, there's a lot to update you on. I mean, if we can, we'll have a look at the bracket. Um, we'll, we'll jump onto the laptop, which, again, I've got full control over, over here. Look, this is the virtual <laughs> Bundesliga website. Give us a scroll to the left. Let's, where, see, let's see it in its all its glory. Well, this is the furthest I can scroll to the okay. left, supposedly. <laughs> but this is the round of 16, as it currently stands. So, 16 players are here. There was, obviously, 32 of them at the start of play yesterday. But the key thing is, I think we need to speak about, gents, is there's big names and heavy hitters still in the competition. Anders Vergang had a rough start to the tournament here in, in Germany, Ryan. Yep. But he just pulled through in round five of Swiss. Yeah, he did. He just about got through into the stage, of course, losing as well to his teammate in Uma in the previous round in the Swiss format, winning on penalties as well. Yep. So he's had a rough way to get to the stage of this, of this tournament. Uma as well. He played against Uma in the Swiss rounds. The two teammates coming head to head. But at the moment, I believe all three RB Leipzig players are through. Levy Finn's through, Umit's yep. through, and as we know, Anders Vergang. If you just give us a little scroll from bottom to top of that bracket as well, you can see the clubs that are being representative three Dortmund players into the knockout bracket as well. That, that is game a game there. that Huge. is coming up soon for you. It's going to be our featured game. Uh, half past five local time. What time is it now? Anyone got a time check on them? <laughs> I think it's about 20 past five. Yeah. So it's coming up very, very soon. Um, it flew through uh, the Swiss. He played really well. Dylan Mike, we saw the final moments, didn't we, of him in the Swiss rounds. He had to go to the final playoff match before winning beating his opponent and going through into the final bracket. Uh, Falcons, Mike, it's always good to see you as well, um, my good friend. What is the best way to get over losing? 
Grey Poisson. Don't, 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 don't ask him. Ask don't ask him. Ask Brandon, don't ask me either. <laughs> I mean, Ryan, you can answer it. You've got, keep, you got more reps in this game. Keep your cool. Obviously, you lose games as part of the competitive scene. You're going to lose a game. You just have to make sure that you're prepared for it, bounce on, and just move on to the next game. I don't know if you can see this. There's a guy on the stage. He's bringing the players out. Should we go and see him? Should we see our final 16 here in Cologne? It is loud. It's very loud. It's we'll talk over it. Across the next few days. Here comes Johnny out first and foremost from FC Paderborn, who won the club championships. Of course, Serratino representing Hoffenheim. They're our first two players out on the stage. It's a great game. Yep. I think we're going to say it's a great game a lot in this uh, knockout bracket because... I might get a counter on you for that, Rich. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Johnny's someone to watch, though. I'm beating in the Swiss format. He's someone... He's won a, a, a tournament this year in the, yep. in the virtual business league, of course. He's somebody that I think goes under the radar. So him at the World Championships as well last year, uh, last summer. He knocked out Umit as well last he year. Did. Yep. In the In the virtual business league. Two more players coming out to the stage here. Seeing Limbo who came through the uh, the club open and you're seeing Henning as well. As do, Rich do, is enjoying. Do a bit of a Limbo. <laughs> as, well. as well in the first round of Swiss yesterday. So that was a big, big win for him. Give, give him that big boost of confidence. When you play in Swiss, how important is it to make sure that you're going to the Swiss <laughs> round? I think you might have to speak a little bit louder, Richard. <laughs> Forgetting what you did in the Swiss and now you're yeah. in the knockout. So many times you see people go 4 so, and 0 and get knocked out first difficult. round. It's so difficult. You kind of wish that the day continued because you're on a, on a, <laughs> you're flying on cloud nine. But the moment you go into that day two, you have to keep on performing. What are your favourite players, Roy Feldman? He's, he's an absolute legend, Roy Feldman. I mean, look, people have been saying in the chat, who is representing Dortmund? I mean, there's a handful of those players. Though. Rowie Feldman is one, and he might be coming out to the stage in a second. Dula I think, could be coming out in a second. We've got Umit, former world champion, former virtual Bundesliga winner as well, up against Dula These two played game. in two grand finals in two years in a row, and they're playing in the round of 16, Ryan Pessoa which is massive for those two because, as we know at the moment, neither player is at the E Champions League and neither player is at the FC Pro World Finals yet. Yeah, so it's a huge game. We'd say that for Dallamak, he's sort of been performing below par before his stand but below his standards. Of course, what we associate him from previous years, but I think he has a point to prove. Winning in, in extra time as well against Berkeley Lion, one of the favourites coming into this competition too, so maybe he has a lot more confidence. You might be wondering, where's Anders Vergang in all this? We're playing four matches right now on the main stage. We're keeping up to date with two of those games in particular. Uh, Dick Mia, as you can see all the games, just as perfect. That way, even you on the, <laughs> on the device, I didn't touch Brandon. A thing that time. They're all the games that was going to be coming up for you. The top four, uh, Johnny, Sartino, Henning, Libor, Dick Mia, Velman, and Umit Dull and Mike will be played right now. And then the other four matches will be taking place in about an hour, an hour and ten minutes' time. Mark, Ferke, Lucas and Daninho. Levy Finn versus Teamox, which is a great game. And Nicholas Rank versus Vergang. I'll ask the chat this home as well. Basically, what's so cool over here in the Virtual Bundesliga, the, the, the viewers on the German stream have been able to choose what game it wants to be the featured game. Out of those four players there, which game do you think is the featured matchup? It should go about saying. I mean, it's a... It's a blockbuster fixture, really, isn't it? It's an absolute brilliant we're gonna, game. We're going to ask the chat a lot of questions. We are, so... That might be the worst question <laughs> I've heard. We've only just got started, Richard. <laughs> it, it's going to be the, the big game. I mean, Ryan, talk to me about Umut, because he is getting into that conversation of greatest FC player of all time. When yep. you look at the accolades, especially in the current system that we're in, where there's not that many tournaments to play for, where there's not that many maybe opportunities. He's always there and he's always going far. How good is Umit? If someone's watching this stream right now who's never seen him play before, yeah. what, is, what, what is he? Just the way he presses, transitions from defence to attack quickly as well. Another member of the scene that does that as well. We saw Johnny <laughs> briefly, his stats on the screen. But for Umit, again, I think he gets overshadowed. Because he's partnered with Anders, Anders you yeah. always see Anders in the limelight a lot more than Umut. Umut's a world champion, he's won this competition before. You see the Anders always celebrating, so he, I don't think Umut gets the, the, the props the respect. that he does. Yeah, I don't think he does. Which is crazy. Well, I'm going to answer my own question. Um, it's actually, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Dylan Mike against Umut. That's going yeah, to be our featured be. game uh, in our round of 16 here. But I just back to your point. We saw the club championship conclude and we saw, obviously, RB Leipzig lose to, to Paderborn and Umit came out on social media. He wasn't very happy about 
how he ended that by, by his own standards. RB Leipzig, as we know, have been so dominant here in Germany. So the fact there's three of them in the round of 16, we know Anders Vergang's already at the FC Pro World Championships. He hasn't got an E-Champions League ticket yep. yet. So for just for context, for those that are wondering, you need to finish in the top four out of the 16 to get an E-Champions League ticket. Top two for those world champs. Do you want to take us to a little bit of head-to-head -head between the two? Uh, I think we've got some stats if you want to... If you want to take us there, Brandon, um, between Umut and Dolan Mike and, and sort of see what they're playing with. <laughs> if, you press, if you press two, does it go to that? That's what I'm, I'm alluding you to. I thought you wanted me to give them all the results. Oh, just like that. All oh, right. I mean, that could have looked like I clicked it anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's what they're doing so far. This is their head-to-head -head statistics throughout the virtual Bundesliga. I mean, Umut is scoring a lot more. He's scoring one more goal on average every game, which can be quite a lot. We have yep. to talk to you about the settings of the VBL this year as well, because it is going to be played two legs as well as six-minute half. So we're not going into the nine-minute halves. Uh, we're going six minutes. Uh, just saw a, a comment in the chat there from Duki. Let's see game, no <laughs> taking. Um, Just want to. Oh, I'm going to jump onto the laptop here a second. This is the Swiss rounds that Amit played. Obviously, we're looking at this game now on the top of your screen. Wow. Round three. This game took place yesterday. It was our last game on stream uh, here in Germany. I mean, he beats his teammate in what is uh, was no doubt a really difficult game. That game put Anders Vergang one and two. He's been playing Elimination FC. Yeah. ever since then. He just got through. It's about lunchtime here in Germany. He won a penalty shootout, didn't he? If you scroll that down a little bit more, do we get to see the, uh, you want to see the, the teams? teams as well that they're using? To give you a little flavour of what you can expect here today in the team selections, um, because there is quite a strict set of team restrictions as well. I don't know if you've got them at yeah, hand. I've got, I've got it memorised. <laughs> I'll break it down. All right. We start off, of course, the players have to be from the Bundesliga or Bundesliga the 2. Pressure's on him now to get this Pressure's right. on, pressure's on. A maximum of two players per club. So, of course, you can't use more than that. What you icon, Ryan? What icon? What icon? The icon has to be from Germany. Bingo. Yeah, bingo. That's the key thing there. One icon from Germany, maximum. And, of course, one hero that has played in the Bundesliga. You're likely going to be seeing Lucio a lot of the time for the hero item. Maybe a Vola, but I doubt it. I think you're only going to see Lucio, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I've actually I've had a little look at some of the, the big players that we're seeing in the teams um, and maybe a few admissions as well. The second highest rated player in the Bundesliga, Harry Kane, not there with the honourable mention. I think he's 93 rated. He's not in really any of the teams. Fringpong team of the year is going to be in every team. 100%. He, he is not only even outside of these restrictions, he's one of the best players on the game. Yeah. Uh, Lucio, the fancy FC item. Uh, no looking. Alfonso Davies. Just that Bayern you Munich, don't want to, you players. don't want to... I mean, it looks like, what, De Litt and Goretzka? Yeah, um, Forik, the fancy FC player yep. from Stuttgart. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Technical plus play style. Unbelievable. And he's going to be in pretty much all the teams as well. And then a player that I think you can see, my eyes aren't very good at the, the, the striker. striker. Just hover over the striker. Is it Mar Marmush? Marmush. Yep. Um, aerial plus, mm -hmm. 98 pace. And 94 dribbling. Yep, that's the key point. As he's going to be a demon. He yeah. reminds you a little bit like a sawl off. I know he's not got a 99, 98 yeah, pace, height, but he's still got 92. No, yeah, the height isn't, but it's just the aerial plus play style. You get that from him. You've got Heller as well, an option that will be, we'll be getting upgraded as well. I saw people asking in the chat, but that's something that will be getting upgraded. Speaking of the chat, what is your favourite play style on FC right now? And we'll go across the couch uh, as well. Um, what is your favourite play style on the game? to use right now and it will tell me a lot about the type of people that we've got in the <laughs> chat depending on the play styles I that get be put up. Travella, Aerial Plus or Finesse? What's yours, Ryan? You're going to say long ball pass? No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to say technical plus. Okay. Technical plus. Yeah, I'm going to say technical plus. There's a lot of good ones. Though. I think there's a, a few that are, are sort of above the rest like the long ball pass as you said, ping, ping pass as well, finesse shot. Lobster pants with pinged pass. Yeah. Finesse shot plus, Sam saying technical. Yeah, Sam's on the same. Listen, he knows. Technical is, uh, honestly, I think it's a little bit over underrated. I think it is. <laughs> Get Rick Kid, Bruiser plus. Yeah, come on. That's <laughs> your favourite one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I like? I like long throw. You can create some real oh, dangerous situations. I think you've been playing pro clubs too much, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> long throw straight into the box to a big man. Oh, yeah. it's, it's guaranteed. Stanley with the finesse shot. Bolger, Anticipate. Trickster Plus. Trickster wow. Plus with Goldie is <laughs> yeah. throwing it back right there. 
Um, Again, if you have just tuned in, it's, we're, we're not the, the Virtual Bundesliga chat show. We're, 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 waiting to, we're waiting for our first game to get underway here. Just great to get the chat, though, involved. I've just heard there was a slight delay. Um, the gameplay will be coming. You can just see behind me here. Just here. There's a few people on the stage. A couple of admins. Let me see if I can give you the preview of Dula Mike's team coming up. I'm sure it's oh, going to be very, very place. similar. Falcons Mike knows what he's talking about. Richard is very good at pro clubs. Make sure you join him. <laughs> Gosh. How much you paid him for that? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely paid him for that. It's true, though. It is true. I'm very good at that game. <laughs> <laughs> he would say that, wouldn't he? Can we have a look at the team? Can we look at uh, it's not team? there. Unfortunately, the team is not nice. there. Again, Thanks this is our featured matchup. <laughs> We are going to be jumping to as soon as it is ready. RB Leipzig commit against Dillamite. We have to keep saying it. This was a grand final, lads. Yep. For two years, back to back. Omit won it one year, Dillamite won it the other. And one of these two, unfortunately, have been eliminated from the tournament. And that's the end of their season. Yep, no more. Which is crazy to think. Dillamite caught Omit, one of them two, are not going to be at the Champions League. And more importantly, we're going to be saying, obviously, goodbye to one of them at the, uh, the FC Pro World Championships too. If Omit loses this game, and Dillamite goes through, we're getting to gameplay if we are jump over to that, Brandon. Um, so jump over. Yeah, let's head on over because eight minutes underway. Sorry for uh, sorry for a slight delay there, but right. we've got two games that we can show you. Um, our featured match for this first round, Hummet versus Dylan Mike. But yeah, if Hummet was to lose this game and not go through and not progress his season, it's a serious, oh. serious statement saying that no one is safe. Yeah, absolutely. nobody is safe. I would go as far to say, I know they've played before, and Dunlamaki, as I said in previous years, has been at the top, top level. I would say it's an upset to not see Uma at, at the, the E Champions League or the FC Pro World Championship. There's a lot of adjectives you can throw at Umut's way. And I think the one that it might not be the most glamorous, might not be the one that people think of straight away. To me, his best thing to describe Umut's game is consistent. In a, a game where consistency, you see some players playing really well, some players some seasons really struggling. Over Since he's been competing, since 20, he has been consistently the top five, top ten player yep. in the game, which there's only maybe like three or four players who can have that moniker. Great play. The good thing about him as well, just backing up as well, look, what's he done? He's, he's won this league. Yep. He's become a world champion and what was a, a crazy, crazy grand final out in Copenhagen. There's been a goal in the other game. Let's quickly jump over and show you that live now. Um, Just seeing the replay flying in. We have got a replay for you, we hope. Near post, a little bit of build-up. Oh, is it a mistake out the back? No, we've jumped games, Rick. Sorry. <laughs> It could be in for a goal, though. We might want to replay this one, Rich. I saw it. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. All right, Dylan Mike. Can't buy a goal to nil. Keep in mind, we are playing two games here. It's an aggregate scoreline. Six minute halves. But expecting to get a lot of goals, Ryan Appender. He is very, very pacey, it seems, every single time he gets a promo. Yeah, I think this item, obviously, in front of goal, you can trust him. But the pace is the key attribute on that item in game. And yeah, it gives Dylan Mike a great start in this game. It's key to mention as well for people at home, this is a best of two, six minute halves. Of course, in previous tournaments this year, we've seen nine minute halves, best of one. This is a what best of two. I personally, because I haven't had experience competing with the nine minute halves, I, I just prefer best of two just because it's, it's what I know. I don't know if you heard that, a huge uh, uproar from the arena. We'll jump over a second. I'll show you the other game. The raw didn't come from this game. It actually came from one of our other matches because there are four matches taking place at the same time this live right goal. now. This was the replay we saw and it was Henning going one goal to the good with Werder Bremen. Changed teams this year for the virtual Bundesliga season. It's a positive start to his game over there. We'll jump back over to our other feature matchup that we want to keep a closer eye on. You like that, don't you? Of course I do. I love this stream deck. It's brilliant. First time we've been able to sort of produce the stream, isn't it? It is. I'm just sitting back. <laughs> Again, any questions at home you guys have got about the competition, fire them in. You're, you're, you're part of this as well. If there's ever been a stream, I think, 
watching some of the best gameplay in the world here in the FC Pro season that you want to be a part of, this is it. Because we are well and truly in with you guys at home. I think just the way Umut builds up, they have to, to keep an eye on it. Anytime the ball is is in and around Halle, he's just going to look just to dink it in, knock it down with a header. Have the team's been updated for this no. matchup yet. Do you refresh? I've, I've refreshed I've okay. about 10 <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> Fortunately not. If Thank we do you. get the teams for both these two, I'd love to. The problem you got there, Ryan, though, you've got, as you said, you've got Halle who's going to be ridiculously good in the air. Yeah. Marmush as well. Yeah. Can't, you can't really stop it, and if you're flicking up in the air and you're playing headers and volleys and playing knockdowns, you're in all sorts of trouble. People asking about the, the showdown item, that was yesterday that took place during the Swiss rounds. And it was Haller that uh, got the upgrade there, Dortmund got the win. Hello. We spent the uh, last couple of days commentating some of the action over in Italy. Um, Ryan, where crosses obviously became really important uh, yeah. as they are, but you can't just mean needlessly and meaninglessly throw the ball in the box and expect to win it. Yeah. How important is the setup to actually get the aerial plus in the position that you want it? Yeah, I think not only the setup, but not making it your only way to go forward, not making it your one. Um, your way to score goals. Yeah, you need to make not necessarily how can I wear this you obviously have to have the different avenues to score goals whether it's on the floor whether it's tiki taka skill moves you need to make your opponent fearful when you get to these situations and it could have been a goal there again from Dalamag in at the near post just off the inside of the post but of course as you mentioned the crossing there triggering the runs is very very important very very important when you're looking for the headers in the area and also defending it you can play a lot and switch to the defender to, to block the fast cross. I know we're playing two legs here, but Dylan Mike, by half time, Rich, could be 2 0 up in this scenario. Maybe should be 2 0 up uh, as well. That one at the near post. Someone who is 2 0 up, though. I'll take you over there right now. Right there. Should we go on over? Jump over myself. Seeing the ball in the back of the net. A pender for Henning. Putting him two goals to the good. Let's see what's going on in the other games as well, because there's also two more matches taking place in this round live now. We've obviously Ooh, got. Why are you not offside? We've got Dittmir against Roy Felben of Dortmund, which we must say, by the way, if Felben was to win that game, he's winning 2-1 at the moment against Dittmir, it would mean that Dullamike could be playing against his, uh, his fellow teammate in this competition. At least you'd have a guaranteed Dortmund well, the, ECL spot. Well, they'd get another one, wouldn't they? Yeah. Because they're already there in... Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we're, yeah we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, we, don't, we don't know what's going to yeah. happen yet, but we know they're, they're two contracted players, so to speak. He's Bradley, BVB Bradley, I believe, and Roy Feldman, so... Yeah. Make it, it could make it a lot easier yeah. if Roy Feldman was to be the player. Should we go back on to over get to that our spot. featured game? Well, that's half time over there. We'll jump back over here. Smooth. He's a smooth operator in Beast for Peace Sports. At least I know what a backup job could be if it all goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be producing in your oh. ears. Here's a bit. Surely, there you go. Three minutes from the restart. And we're seeing the first room pack from Marmush. That's a big goal just after half time as well. I see Shay in the chat asking what the score between Feldman and Dittmer is. Feldman is leading 2 1 currently, still in the first leg between those two. The only other score I haven't given you is Johnny against Serratino. That is 1 0 to Johnny as well. What a player. I think the tallest player I think I've ever seen. So he's like six foot, <laughs> yeah. six foot seven? Yeah, Johnny. Um, not only has he won me some gifted subs in the past. <laughs> because I predicted him to do really well in the play-ins last year. Um, but it was a, a friendly wager with Stokes in the chat. Um, I know that Stokes and Johnny are really good pals. Um, but the again, the level of consistency that he's shown, he won the club championship, what, three weeks ago? Yeah. With Paderborn. And then last year, great performance in the summer. Coming into this season, you always think, it, it, was it just a one and done? Will they replicate? Will they get better? And he, he absolutely is. Do you have the Swiss records for the players, Brandon, that we've got? Did you want? I mean, Anyone? The, the two players that we've got here, both uh, Dull and Mike and, and Umut. So we saw, we saw Umut's yeah, the opponents. Easiest, the easiest way to explain it is obviously yesterday, 
There was two groups, so to speak. Oh, Chance, Hallett, big goal, um, it, two one up. And there were 16 players in each of those groups. As you said, three wins sends you through to the knockouts, three defeats knocks you out. I won't jump off the uh, off the screen to show you, but they were both in opposite groups. So this is um, it, who found himself what? I think he got it done pretty, he went pretty easily, to be he? fair. He, he went he went one and oh, then he went one and one, and he went three and one in the end, which was enough to get him over the line. Dolan obviously went right down to the final game. Yep, extra time. We just saw it here uh, when we came into the arena in the beautiful city of Cologne. Bit of back post here. Oh, he's going to play it. Ooh. Good last it's tackle there from him. How did D Dolan get on? I mean, Dolan might. I mean, he's already on a rampage. He beat Burke Lyon an extra time in a playoff match, gents, to uh, in round five to get himself into knockouts. Again, Burke Lyon was in the grand final last year of this tournament <laughs> alongside Antio, Antonio Rodeo, who's not playing this time round. He was a coach, actually. So we could be looking at a potential guaranteed new champion a little bit later on in this bracket, depending on what actually happens. See your message there in the chat, Shay. Why are we not showing Dipmia versus Feldman? The two matches that we've actually got to show you here were voted on by the oh, brilliant feet. Oh. virtual Bundesliga German chat. They picked the two highlight games that they wanted to see, and these were the two that were voted on. That's that's the key. If you watch that goal there again, that's the reason why I said technical plus base style is my favourite. You can just control sprint by just holding R1 and just weaving and out of defences, and it's just easy. Can we just speak as well for a split second? We were saying about Dolomite hitting the post at the stroke of half time. Should have been tuning up. Yeah. Game's gone. Well, it's not because it's two legs, but the whole bit, dynamic changes. That, that, that were a bit of a yeah. <laughs> He's now three-one down. Over exaggeration, but mentally you've got to be struggling because it looks like one-way traffic at the yeah. moment. He's not stopping either, is he? Four-one. He's in his groove now. You, you must have been in this situation, Ryan, where you obviously you've lost a few games in your time, but. Mm. <laughs> Take you 10 minutes. <laughs> were you ever in a situation where you were winning maybe 1 0 at half time and you felt as though you were on top and then you got into a second half or a second leg of a game and your opponents just turned you over? And like mentally, how do you even compute that? Because you've gone into half time thinking, I feel good, I'm, feeling, I'm playing well, yeah. I'm feeling all right. And then within four minutes, real time, you're now 4-1 down. There's a lot of variables, obviously, you have to take into account. Maybe your opponent just picked up his game, he's playing a lot better than he did in the first half, or then, obviously, you look at it, you might feel a bit deflated. It. Dolomite, for instance, just before halftime, as, as Brandon mentioned, that shot. If you sort of dwell on that, going into the second half, you about those rude, mis rude mistakes or those, those chances that went astray, I think the second half can just get away from you within an instant. You have to sort of forget about that and just move on. You've also got to remember there's a second leg to be played as well. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the key. It's difficult because a lot of players this year in other tournaments or, or qualification methods, it's been nine minute half. Do you think it's tough then having to constantly to change, change, change formats? I, I would say, yeah. I obviously, I haven't experienced it because I'm not competing this year, but I would say I would definitely have found that difficult. Where do you think if you played fully and you tried this year, where do you think you'd have placed? I'd still be here next to you too. <laughs> <laughs> you, would you have made EPL? Oh yeah, come on. EPL. I think EPL... If I really put my foot down, do you think I could have? Oh, God. What club are you trying to go for? <laughs> we'll wait till Barnsley get in there. What's happening in the other game? We'll jump over there quickly. Talk to me. 2 0 steal. We could be in for a third here as we join it now. It's great timing. He's heading in Verda Bremen. It's there great you go. timing, Brandon. Great timing. 3 0. Leon Goretzka. The producer just said, well done in my ear to Brandon. I think I'm doing, I'm on work experience, I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm understanding the role slowly. <laughs> Not the start at all that Limbo would have wanted. 3-0 down, end of the first leg, still about 20 in-game minutes left. <laughs> I like how you call him Limbo. He's not called nickname. Limbo. <laughs> it's Limbo, isn't it? Limbo. <laughs> it's Limbo. You said about the Limbo earlier. Yeah, because you said it. <laughs> So I would, I would defend it, you know, or making it a thing. Um, Ryan, you must have also been in situations where you've got into a, a, a knockout. A limbo. <laughs> <laughs> you've got into knockout games, and you do find yourself like 3-0 down in the first leg. Yeah. 
how do you think bounce back from that? Um, I've had situations obviously where I've managed to overturn deficits and also lose as well. It's difficult because it obviously depends on the opponent you're playing against. Some players you think even if you're three goals down, you can still get back into the game. Whereas there are some opponents, like Umut for example, if you're down by three, you kind of just... Could be down by four. Yeah. Good keeper movement. I think the... Um... Oh, that's great. That's a great ball over the top. He's not going to take it into his yeah. path. I think the squad restrictions are really tough this year for the uh, virtual Bundesliga. Um, I don't think the Nefts are being blessed with a lot of unbelievable meta items either. Yeah. Well, if you compare it to every other league in the nicest way possible, you get three icons, if mainly. You, you but then also, like there's only seven German icons, I guess, on the game. I mean, obviously, there's been a number that have played in the in the Bundesliga, but when Schweinsteiger is your main option, it's beautiful. It's pretty tough, isn't it? Yeah, I think Schweinsteiger, as you said, will be the goal too because of his play styles. You've got Mateus. the big pass, long ball passes. Got Mateus too, but I think. Playstyle pluses are a key aspect for me. I, I think Mateus' power shot is great, and so with dead ball, I just think I don't know if it's if it's something that I would. You don't know ball, right? <laughs> it's it's an okay playstyle. It's just not as good as long ball for me. Nowhere near. The last three minutes now of our first leg in the round of 16. Umit, after being nearly two 0 down, he's leading four one. There is still a second leg to be played. Remember, if he wins this, he will be in the. Sort of last day and one win away from an e Champions League spot. Kandula might try and develop himself a goal back. Paddy saying that Prince is the best. Best at what? <laughs> <laughs> best at <laughs> Prince doesn't get anywhere near this goal. Um, if we see a Prince today, I'll be lost for words. Could make it five and put the game out of sight, out of mind, near post. I think the keeper movement's catching him off guard. Second guessing himself. Yeah. Should I stay or should I go? I see what he's got from this corner. I know he's got Coach Daniel behind him. I'm sure we've had a plan from here. Right, that will do us over in this game. Let's jump back across. Mr. Nice Writer. Great, great username. Uh, he's agreeing that Prince is the best and bench base R9. It's controversial, isn't it? No comment. He's left right for someone. Lots of words. <laughs> <laughs> I can take my, my shoes off. Yeah, even, no, Paddy's Richard. even backtracked. He just said no. Just so straight up no. <laughs> no shoes off? No, your feet stink. <laughs> oh, feel free, the producer just said. Take my shoes off. <laughs> he isn't being on the same flight as you over it. <laughs> that Frimpong. Would you, because of how good Frimpong is, would you play him out of position not a right back I know a few players centre are playing mid. him in centre mid yeah they're putting Goretzka at right back and then putting um, Frimpong as the the advanced is that more to stop the cross though and less to actually get is more that, out of Frimpong I think it's a bit of both to be honest I think obviously the crossing Frimpong doesn't really stand a chance in the air Goretzka obviously can challenge more aerially against the, the likes of Marmouche and Haller and stuff but I think Frimpong in midfield as the offensive midfielder offers a lot more in my opinion than Goretzka Tell you what, though, Werder Bremen have played a brilliant first leg, haven't they, for Henning? 3 0. He was one of the few players as well that's actually went unbeaten on the Swiss Rich, too. Got a 3 0 early doors, done and dusted yesterday, I believe it was. Might even be on for another one if he can get it. Added time of one minute. Ooh. And that's the game done and dusted. Remember, first leg done, still a second leg to be played. At the moment, all perfect. Let's check in the scores in the other games quickly because we know a lot of people have been asking for the Dittmir Feldman update over there. Obviously, we lot of saw it 2 1. How did the first leg end? 3 1 for Robbie Feldman. So, uh, it might, be, it might not be going on right on one the, side for Dortmund. Teams? No teams. <laughs> Whose teams do you want to see? I can find got, it for you. You just got to ask the question do we have the team? We have got a few teams we can look at, though. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I mean, it's a game we didn't see, but it's ended 1 1, unless it's still playing now. Johnny against Seratina. I think there might be a pause, actually. We'll, we'll jump over to the laptop a second. This is Johnny's team, for example, who did go uh, unbeaten in the Swiss rounds. I mean... I'm going to have to sit forward. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to zoom in here. <laughs> I'm going to have to zoom in for you. Thank you. Right. He's gone for a slightly different hero there. Ooh. Collar. He's not gone for Lucio. John's just pressed the screen to get rid of the... Uh... No, that was, that was a different promo. 
<laughs> what, the, big, the big blue box. Kimmy, so I mean, look, as you said, you allow two players per club, so feel free to get involved in the conversation home. Who is the must-have in this team, Ryan Pessoa? Sorry, uh, you asked Ryan Pessoa. Okay, so I would say... <laughs> we'll come to the, you in a minute. The must-pick has to be Frimpong. Sure, Frimpong is, a, in my opinion, 100% certain most of okay. the squads, even if he's Let's off the bench. Forget Frimpong. Other than him, I would personally say... Oh, because the lit, you could also go with Auburn. I would say Openda for me. I think just the pace. You, you sort of lack the pace in this league. I think he's someone that you need. For me, it's the right mid. For it, yep. I feel like water player. Um, just well, offers you so much. It makes you think, though, if you didn't get that fantasy foot, you know, who goes in that position? Obviously, you're looking at Kingsley Coman yeah. on the opposite side of it. And I think the biggest talking point is probably goalkeeper. I've seen Cabell, Gold, rocked in a, sort of, a lot of these teams. Team of the Weeks, we've seen, obviously. Is that the bench as well at the bottom there? Yeah, yeah. the bench is there too. I mean, Fring -pong on, Fring -pong on the bench on the right. Not starting him. With Wolf. In a right back. Surely that's a mistake. <laughs> Ryan's lost a word. No, I'm just looking at see who could. Who is that in left back? Sorry, is that Gossens? Gossens. Yeah. I think he's got a couple of team of the weeks as well. Yeah. Just between which one you wanna you wanna use? Grimaldo on the bench. Any player in this team that's not in here for the chat that that you believe should be in this squad? Harry Keep Kane. in mind there are restrictions. Harry Kane. Again, we can't use him because of his. Uh, Harry Kane and Delit. Do you think, Richard, this year going, well, offensively anyway, five-star skill moves is as important as it has been in previous years? No, not necessarily. Do you want to bring it back onto some stats, Brandon, from the games? Yeah, let's see if we've got a... Uh... We've got them there if you want them. Where do you want to go first? Shall we look at the game, feedback? Go game one. Look at the feedback from game one, shall we? There we go. Well, that was Libo, not Limbo, <laughs> who uh, did lose that game, unfortunately. Three goals to nil. These are the stats so far in the competition that he's had. Ryan, talk me through what we're looking at there with the stats from the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, German isn't my strong point. <laughs> we'll go with the basics, as we can see. The, the win, draw, loss, I think that's... <laughs> four I'm going to guess. Expect to, I'm going to guess uh, goals for. Yep, even. Yeah. Goals against. Yep. No idea the last one. Shots on target. You know what? Shots yeah. on goal. That's you not bad for you. That's not bad for well. you. <laughs> yeah. The top one, I don't have a clue what that means. XG, maybe? No, we, uh, points per game. Yeah, it is. Yep. Points per game. Puck tip or ease and spiel. One five, drawn two, only lost one game in the Swiss rounds. That was, I think, his second, early, wasn't it, yeah, well? second yeah. round yesterday. It was against someone that went 4-0 oh as well, and Mark um, representing Leverkusen this season as well. But it's just a force to be reckoned with. When he gets in his flow as well, the through balls, the way he can just weave in and out of defences is, is just, yeah, it's unstoppable. And although Tullamite might, might be a few goals down here, he went to extra time and took down Burke He came second in this tournament yesterday. So look, we can't count him out as of yet. Remember, there's still a second leg to come in this one. I think the next goal will heavily determine the swing of the game. I think if Umut gets the goal to go 5-1 up, I think he just leads and just takes it away. I just saw a headset cutting forward. I saw a little bit of hair just sticking out the front. <laughs> so I just thought I'd get back under. What? <laughs> just like it's here, but just watch you. What, watch you? Just, the... just flicking your hair, mate. Yeah. Just flicking your hair. Again, keep in mind, we have still got Anders Vergang in town up after this round. There are eight round matches in total in this round of 16. Eight players will make it through to the quarterfinals. We're playing all the quarterfinals today. And then tomorrow will be uh, basically for the top four, won't we? Semi-finals, grand final. We'll know who's at the Champions League. Yep. Joining the other four that just confirmed their spots yesterday in Italy. So I'm, we'll hearing, I'm hearing that the games are, are close to be getting underway. So as soon as we get a kickoff, we will be heading right over there for the second legs of action. Um, we're going to have a few special guests as well joining us we are. on the couch today. Mo Alba said he would join if he, he follows did. up on that. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. I, I Anders believe he's, said he would come as well. He's commentating on the, uh, on the German stream. Anders will come on. I mean, if he wins. Um, let us know in the chat as well. I think uh, we'll get up to date with the chat very soon from what we can see for games and what we're expecting from these matches. We're jumping him. We're jumping him. We've got gameplay ready. That's obviously the Werder Bremen game. Heading against Libo. And this one here 
is the match that Umit is currently falling up. You can just see the score left top corner of your screen. Four one in leads in game number one. Fancy a bit of trivia? Hit me. Bit of ultimate team trivia. You're going to ask me the seven German I icons. Have. have you written them down? <laughs> no. Oh, gosh. I, I, for for, for someone at home as well. For someone home so as well. I think well. We're, we're buffering in the chat at the moment. Okay. So, the so chat, if someone the, in the, behind the scenes wants to <laughs> fix the chat for us. Okay, the chat's not updated. <laughs> we can get the I chat need to wait. I need to wait for the chat. To, I'll ask you this question first because it was a popular one the last few days. Ryan, what icon has got 99 penalties at the moment? Oh, no. oh. How many times did you hear this yesterday, Rich? <laughs> Too many. Too many? All right. Um, he played yesterday. Quite a lot. 99 penalties. What icon's got 99 penalties? <laughs> Have a think about it when there's attack coming in from him. He's looking to make it 5 1. Del Piero. No. <laughs> Del Piero. Didn't play a single <laughs> game yesterday. <laughs> Vinic. Vidic, Glazer Vidic, for some reason, has got 99 penalties. I wonder if the chat got it. We, we, unfortunately, we'll never know. We're waiting for it to be... Uh, we need to refresh our refreshed. chat, if possible. If we can, whoever's behind the scenes working the magic, if you can refresh the chat, somebody's coming to fix it. Thank you very much. Now I know where it is, I can fix it. <laughs> Still a mic. Three goals down on aggregate. Remember, he loses game. That is your season done and dusted. Look at the press there from Umut. He's in. Could be a great through ball. It's going to be five. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you're joking on the scoreline there. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh on the goal. Oh, 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 my my the target. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Deserved the goal. There he is. I think he's in this position. I can't quite see the chat. I'm having to sort of lean over. It's <laughs> getting refreshed. All right, 60 minutes here, nil-nil. What's happening in our other game? Quickly, 3 0 was the score to Werder Bremen. It is still 3 0 now. Waiting for Liber of Hoffenheim. He's just not really got going, has he? <coughs> to try and claw something back. You get your breath back, Richard, as Marco Royce. Try and make it four. Still goalless here. We'll jump back across. Let's see what's going on in our other games. Is oh. it get stopped with a bit of goalkeeper move from potential on the line there? It's been a few times, Ryan. He's been baffled. Yeah. By the goalkeeper movement. I think it's it's something that sort of kept Dull and Mike in the game. Yeah, it's definitely kept him in the game. He's in. I would. I was about to say touching distance. He's down by three goals, but it's kept him. It's given him a sort of lifeline and maybe at least some hope that he can somehow get back into it. Bit of an update. Roy Feldman actually won his first leg 5 2 wow. against Dittmir. That was uh, only the first leg. Hallop goes down to ground there. That should have been a better chance that didn't make the most of there for Dula Michael. He's running out of time. Have we got the chat back yet? Not quite. Still loading. We're working on it. That's a Big huge goal draw. has gone in. It's not in our featured games. But it's Johnny that has scored a goal. We've now got multiple people working. And I believe he's just made it two goals to one. That is Johnny of... Is this going to be a fifth, Ryan? Oh. SC Superman Paderborn. Punch. Club champion, ship winners this year in the virtual Bundesliga. I think you're right. He really found his form, Joey, didn't he? Sort of last year, came out from nowhere, was taking down big names here in Germany, then took that form. You have to say, if you peak now, in the leagues, You're just, flying. just right yeah. around the corner from always the World Championships. It's the perfect time to peak, isn't it? Well, this is the only way into the World Championships as well. Yeah, it is, so, so it sort of helps. Yeah. You have to play well in a league to solidify any sort of continuation of the FC Pro season. And to have an E-Champions League as well. There you oh, go. Oh, there we go. 5-1. Yeah, every time Umar looked, or any time he went forward, he looked as if he was going to score. And yeah, for me, it was just a moment or a matter of time before Dallin might concede it again. Which is a shame, because it's always great to see Dullin involved in these tournaments and great to see him 
competing again at the highest level after a couple of years where we've not seen too much of him, but you come up against potentially one of the best players on the planet right now, and we can see the chat again. We can see He's you. back. We are back. Right. Hello, everyone. It's going to be time for Brandon's big question number one. Do you want us to do one each? Yeah. We'll give it a couple of seconds to breathe, all right? Yeah, go on. So I want you at home as well. And again, they're probably going to cheat, aren't they? Let's not, you know, let's not beat around the bush here. Yeah. There's seven German icons on this game. These two can't search and cheat. Who are the seven icons from Germany on FC24? All right, go first, Rich. Name one. Prinz. <laughs> Schweinsteiger. Balak. Matthias. Closer. Two more. Lam. Who are they forgetting, chat? Have you got it? I don't. <laughs> I don't. There's one more. Uh, so they've not named. Oh, it's a big chance to the mic. Oh. How have you not seen it? The target. In? Good Muller. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Dawson. There you go. Someone's just taken the time to search that. Yeah. All seven. Not this great. You might, they might have known. Yeah. They might have known. You Good never knowledge. know. Good knowledge. YCO, if you, if, you, if you guessed it properly, I'll take it back. Dolomite needs to make the most of this now. 5-1 down an aggregate. And we're about to go into half-time, I believe, in both of our matches. Still 0-0 in the uh, Werder Bremen game. It's 3-0 on aggregate to Henning there. It looks like we're starting to see some pull-away winners in this now in the round of 16. Yeah, John, what were the, the other matches that we currently got underway? Johnny in action. We have Johnny against Serratino. Uh, and that's currently 2-1 on aggregate. That's in the second leg, so Paderborn beating Hoffenheim. And Roy Felder. Uh, as... Another goal goes in for Johnny. That's 3-1 now. Yep, red card it looks as like as well for, for Sahatina, which is a... Yeah, to me, you're giving Johnny the man advantage, Johnny, you're asking for trouble. Roy Feldman is 5-3 up. Dittmir's got a goal back in the second leg there. Remember, these are all round of 16 games. YCO is a, a big Bayern fan, German supporter, so it would be understandable that they'd have that knowledge. Could you name all the English icons? You're asking me? Well, just oh. like... I, mean, <laughs> I think there's... I, I, I can name quite a few. I don't think, think, I think I'd think miss a few. I think there's 12 on the game. I don't know if I got 12 the, in my locker. The, I think there's 12. All right, go. What, like all me say 12 or no, same no, against? Might, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, no. Bobby Moore. Rooney. Bobby Charlton. Rio Ferdinand. Scholes. Lampard. Gerard. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so, so many. Campbell. John Barnes. That's good from you. I've got another one as well. That's I've got I've got loads actually. I could reel them off. Wait, just wait. I think I've got I think I've got give the me rest one of sec. Them. Wait, hold on a minute. Do you see Ashley Cole? No. Okay, yeah. Beckham. Yep. Lunica. Shearer. Owen. Owen. Yep. That's 14, um, no? Did we say Bobby Charlton? Oh, I don't think you did. Bobby Charlton as well. Commentator with him before. Number yeah. One. John. That's another goal. Play. Play. That's your call. No, another one. I said another one. Striker. Ian Wright. Ian, Ian Wright. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Kelly, I knew that one. Kelly I was Smith. waiting. I was waiting for you to. Yeah, Smith. Yep. Great knowledge. This was a replay of a goal that you might have just missed. Ugh. Oh, mate. Shot He's, When it's looking that good, he, he'll be praying that he could have just played all his games today, really. I opened with Bobby Moore, Calza, if you listen. <laughs> That's a regressive. Don't forget goalkeepers. English goalkeeper. <laughs> I have to agree with Henkin. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. I'm just trying to do my job with Henkin, and these two are just <laughs> pulling me down. <laughs> Again, look, we're trying to make this as interactive as possible for you guys home as well. we'll be, I'll be throwing plenty of ultimate team questions over the next 24 hours, I can assure you of that. As it currently stands, Umit is 6 1 up. To answer Carlo's question, Umit will be playing 
Oh, Umit's playing now, sorry. Anders is still in the competition, playing just after this round finishes. I mean, that's where all our eyes are going to be on it in that yep. next round of 16 game. Umit for another one. Yep. 7 1. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> you got the giggles, have you? Oh. I think Henke is right 100%. <laughs> I think if we can, by the way, this is a bit of, bit of a shout out there, but obviously for Cal's are moderating the chat. Yeah. If he can run a poll for us, potentially. What poll would you like? I think for the next game, we'll do, we'll do a poll of, I mean, who's winning between Anders Vergang and, I'll give you the fixture now, Nicholas Rank of FC Clone, who obviously is the uh, home nation side here. Ooh. Should we swap, swap, swap games? Yeah, sort of jump is... ships, do you? Yeah. 8-1. It's getting a bit... But me, he's on his way through to the, the quarterfinals. Dillamike out the tournament. That's the end of it as well for Dillamike, unfortunately. Uh, as Johnny has scored another one. Fan favourite here, Johnny, isn't he? He's got a lot of fans here, hasn't he? I mean, this game... We don't often see a nil-nil, but we're uh, maybe in for our first nil-nil in the virtual Bundesliga. And as we were saying, Nicholas Rank, formerly of Bayern Munich last year in the virtual Bundesliga, now of FC Nuremberg, playing up against RB Leipzig's Anders Vergang. That comes up straight after this one in our next side of the round of 16 game. Anders Vergang's actually pretty fortunate to still be in this tournament because at one point we thought he was being eliminated at one and two. Lovely cross there from uh, Frenkpong at the back pole. It's just evaded his man. Keeper was taking out the equation as well. I mean, if he's in the mood, we'll try and get him in on the couch. <laughs> on the arm? He can, he can join us here on our, uh, our English broadcast. Do you have any one. questions? Eight one of it leads. Four of it. We're going to try and get him on. Let us know in the chat right now, and <laughs> we might ask a few. I hope, I hope we'll ask him a few questions. We won't sit in silence <laughs> for the whole time he's here. <laughs> Maybe some people would like that in the chat. <laughs> we would like to make the uh, poll, if possible, for Anders Vergang. Versus Nicholas Rank, who's coming out on top in that game. Kick Versus off. Nicholas Rank, who will win? At 6.40 local time. So we've got a little while, I believe, before that game comes in. Updates in our other games as well. Roy Feldman still 5-3 up in his matchup. He'll be taking on Umit by the looks of it as it currently stands in the quarterfinals. That one coming up a little bit later on today. And uh, Johnny Serratino, as you said, Ryan, is down to 10 players. 4-1. Johnny now leads in that game. Johnny looking to make it back through again to the final eight in the virtual Bundesliga. Once again here. Anders is winning right now with 90 votes to 11. And the poll is there right now for you to vote in. So if you type in the chat right now, one or two, I think we've got two consecutive polls running so we can get an even better picture. Uh, we've got the poll in the chat, who's going to win? And then we've also got in the chat right now, if you type number one for Anders, you'll see a vote going on there. If you type number two, that is if you think Nicholas Rank will win, one or two in the chat. And that poll should get a little bit of movement. Oh, it could be going number nine here for Umar. We're approaching double figures nearly. Keepers moved He's out. Moved the keeper out. He's not scored. Let's go back to the other game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you think that's a good time to go back to the other game when you've got an open goal and you turn back. Yeah, it's probably a good time to swap games. Uh, Nicholas Rank has got zero votes there, by the way. What I'm going to say on that though is, there's been a, he's had a few difficult results and as Vergang in this bracket. He had a good uh, season last year, Nicholas Rank, if I remember correctly, in the virtual Bundesliga. Five minutes he was representing, wasn't he? I want to say he got to the semi-final. I don't think you'd be far off, Richard. 
I am going to cross-reference that. Just take on me for a second. So I've got a picture of the 2023 virtual bullet league on. Just didn't print it out. A semi-final loss to Berkey Lion, 6-5. Memory serves you correctly. He beat the Mike 4-3 in the first round. Wow. Well, this hasn't been the most exciting second leg, I'll be honest. It's 0-0. <laughs> We've got a 0-0 here and a 9-1 nine nine on the other game. Should we take some more quizzes? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a quiz for you. First person in the chat now. This guy's really in the mouth. First person in the chat now, and I, I don't want to hear an answer from you guys okay. until 10 seconds after I answer it, okay? There are three German heroes in the game. Who are the three German heroes? I believe there's three. I think there might be more. No, there's five. There's five. Sorry, I'll take it back. There's five German heroes in FC24. You've got 15 seconds from now to think about it, and then the first person in the chat to give it to us as well could be a... Uh, to be the first person to guess it, right? How many have you got? I've got two. I've got one. <laughs> Five We've German got heroes. One. Another one you've got. <laughs> yeah. Who are they? Was that to Ralph? Yeah, you've got Collar, is that yeah. pronounce his name? And then Kessler. Oh, yeah. Oh, Morgan's wait, wait, given wait, wait, us wait, wait, two. Wait. Morgan's given us two there. Volland. Volland. I want all five. Volland. I need all five from someone. No, I'm not talking Kevin. Volland. It's me, Voller. Volland. Yeah, I'm thinking Volland. <laughs> Prince is an icon. Mario Gold, yeah. There you go, I think you've got it. Ricken, yeah. From Asaf. Ricken, Gomez, Koller, Kessler, Voller. Oh, we could be in for another one here. Is it goal Go four? Frim Pong. Just misses. We've got a full time result in our other game as well. Can confirm. Umitz comes out winner of that one. Great question to get the chat back on side there, Brandon. <laughs> so I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Oh brought them back to our side. So well, there you have it, full time. You, you don't really see them in the chat, you throw them a little... Just a curveball. little curveball, they're all there. They're you all just, there still. You just put a bit of a spin on it. <laughs> Jort was pretty bad for me. I must have called Voller, Kevin Voller, for about six months on our team. What's his first name? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> There you go, that's the chat. I've just seen the, the results of it there. 89%. 4 0. Predicting Over here as well. that RB Leipzig and Anders Vergang will win. Uh, 368 votes. Thank you for your participation in the vote. And that would mean 11% voted the other way for Nicholas Rank. Rudy, Rudy Voller, they're, they're correcting you. Rudy. Rudy. It is Rudy, yeah, sorry. Obviously, I know it's Rudy. It's not Kevin. <laughs> Took me six months for someone in my, in my stream to tell me. Zero ball Zero knowledge. Yeah, Brandon, you're getting yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's facts. It's facts. It's lucky that I can't actually see the bottom of the chat right now. <laughs> so you a, have to wait for it to scroll a laptop, up and then so you get it. I'll wait for it to hit me again. I've got a serious ultimate team knowledge question. Bundesliga. But I don't want to drop it just yet. Like, simmer a little it bit. It needs to simmer a little bit, because this one is... This one's a real thinker. Well, it's going to be full-time. Right, and full times across the ball then. So what? Umit's won. Henning's won his game. Obviously, they're on opposite sides of the bracket. Have we got a full time result yet from Felben of Dortmund? Is that game finalised yet? I mean, I can have a look if they're still playing or not. Yeah, they're still in their game over there. Full times coming across the board. Um, let's have a look at the full time results and uh, stats from the match between Umit and Dull and Mike. If you want to solve it out there, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was wondering what you're saying then. There's your full time results. We've got a full time result as well. Sorry, Johnny just won 6 1. He's going through. <laughs> no way, you're chuckling, Richard. Sorry, the chat I'm is. Loaded on channel points. I highlight every message. Hold on, but we're joined by a special guest. We're joined guest. by someone. Um, hello, my friend. Hello, come mate. on in. Congratulations. Congrats, bro. If you, I think the headset's down there. If you come in here, mate, and basically take a seat next to Richard. Oh, you've pulled my headset off, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Look like this. How are you, my friend? I'm good. There we go. I'm feeling good. What happened there? Because at one point in that game, Dullen 
was about to be 2 0 up at half time. We left the game for about five minutes. We come back and you 4 1 up. You were running away of it by that point. Yeah, I just scored one goal and then he, he just like lo lost the ball really fast and then uh, I just keep scoring and it went really good. And after that, of course, I could play a little bit more calm and uh, didn't have to play so fast anymore. And at the end, he has to open, like um, he has to do constant pressure. After that, I can just easily score and then the game was over. D did you expect it to go so easily for you? Because, I mean, inside the second half, you were what, four, four goals up, five goals up, and then sometimes constant pressure, you can get a chance back, you can get a couple of goals, but he never got near you. Yeah, of course, I thought it will be like closer in this match because Dolan is really good. He's one of the best here. But uh, of course, I, would, I was happy that I, it didn't, uh, didn't what uh, was so close. And uh, I'm happy about that. But of course, Dolan normally is one of the best. And I think if we would play now again, it wouldn't it end like this way. again. Yeah. Yeah. What was your thought process going into the second leg? Obviously, you're winning 4-1. Do you think you play the same going into, into the second leg? Or do you maybe go a bit defensive or just play the same? Uh, I wanted to keep like um, I wanted to, to uh, switch off on the sides, yeah. so I have more possession. But uh, of course, he pressed then in the, the beginning really good, and um, yeah, my, my aim was just not to concede until the half time. So I'm then with, with uh, three goals up, and after that, I just uh, changed a little bit uh, of my instructions uh, because I'm playing like with uh, both. Um, wing backs like oh, offense. Oh wow! Okay. And uh, yeah. of course, when I'm um, leading 3-0 and only uh, 45 minutes to play, then uh, I just um, state my left back um, defense that he stay uh, back during uh, my attacks. Let us know in the chat if you got any questions for Umit while we have him as well. We don't want to keep you too long. We know you got to get prepared. I've got one for you for mate. your uh, upcoming games. Yeah, eight one up, and you got an open goal. Again? You were winning eight one. Yes. You had an open goal. Yeah. You turned back. Yeah. Just go and get nine. I, I like Dolan is one of my friends. It's actually, so. te it's actually <laughs> teammate, Anders. He's scoring. He's sco yeah, scoring. He will score it, of 100%. course. But yeah, I don't care if it's like 8 1 or 2 1. So I'm happy that I won. We have to speak but about that course, just quickly like as well. Yesterday, you matched against Anders yes. in, uh, in, in the Swiss round. What was that like? I know you beat him in the end, but what, uh, I'm sure you didn't expect that matchmaking. I, was, I lost in penalties. Uh, like I was 1-0 yep. and then I, I lost uh, in penalties again against Mark and um, then I was 1-1. I thought, okay, maybe I will get an easier opponent then. And then I saw directly I got unders. I lost <laughs> in penalties and then I got unders. Yep. So I was like really down. And um, yeah, of course it was not nice to play, but we just say, okay, we have to play. Uh, we both play without coach. So Feminet is not coaching me then because yeah. she's also for Red Bull Leipzig. And uh, so we just say, okay, uh, we both play without coach and we just don't celebrate or something, don't make any toxic things. And at the end, I won with a corner goal in the 90th minute. But uh, yeah, we're both going through, so it doesn't matter. We were talking on the couch earlier about you, saying that uh, the, the global FC fan maybe doesn't respect you as much as they should. Um, maybe sometimes you get overlooked by Anders and, and what he's doing because you are teammates. Do you ever feel disrespected by people for how much you've achieved and how much you've done? Um, no, I don't know. Like, I think like everyone knows that I'm really good. And if they think I'm not good, then I don't care. Like, I just want to play. I just, w just, want, to, just want to win. And if people think I'm not that good or something like this, they just can think about it. But yeah, I don't Does it care. Does affect you? No, no. I just want to play. I want just to make my money. And after that, I'm happy <laughs> and I can go. Someone asked in the chat, what's your favorite color? Color? <laughs> Bro, that's random. <laughs> I don't know, like blue maybe? And uh, when I was four, I said all the time blue. <laughs> um, I've got a question for you. It's an ultimate team knowledge question. <laughs> Here we go. There's go seven on. German icons on FC24. You're from Germany. Yeah. Can you name them all? No. I can try. Schweinsteiger. Yeah. Philipp Lahm. Klose. Matthäus. Prinz. Two more. Mm. As you said, the, uh, the player that can play in centre mid as well is. Uh... You're out. Uh, did I say Lamb? There you go. There's six. One more. One more. Who is it? Striker. Is it a girl? Or Striker. A girl or boy? Boy. boy. Fella has a hero. Closer. New icon. 
New? Gomez? No. I don't know. Good, Muller. Yeah. Yeah, he shits <laughs> Oh, God. Apologies for any language there. <laughs> um, my last question while we're speaking about players. In your opinion, since you've been in this eSport, yeah. who in your eyes is the, the, the top player? Like the GOAT? The FIFA player GOAT. Yes. On FC, yeah. In yeah, FC or get in general? Of all, all eSports of, of, of FC, all the years. It's hard. Hey. And look, it's, don't worry, you're not going to get... It's just tell, tell us. No one's watching. No one's I say, <laughs> say Dossary. Okay. Why? I think the most important thing is World Cup, and he won it. And after uh, after that, he was run up. So I would just go with him. But of course, I could also understand if you take Tex or Nicolas. Nice. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We'll back see you soon. See you. Hopefully. Hopefully, happy. We'll come. You can come back yeah. anytime. Uh, no, anytime. if I if I lose, I just go to hotel. <laughs> See you later, Robert. All right. Thank you, mate. Bye-bye. Take care, bro. Apologies for any unsavory <laughs> language there from uh, from Amit. We will do our best to brief the guests next time they, uh, they join us on the couch here at the virtual Bundesliga. Um, a lot of people saying about, uh, is Halle getting an upgrade? That happened yesterday. He I did also, win the game. He I also think he got Balak. Um, he said Lam twice, apparently. Oh, did he? Did he? Yeah. Oh, OK, fair enough. Sorry. There's some results for you. Umut victorious in the end. Uh, a, a very emphatic... 8-1 victory. As for Henning, uh, he has gone through four goals to nil with a great win. Uh, you've got Johnny versus Serhatinho. Johnny with a 6-1 victory. Lots of big results here, Ryan. And Roy Feldman with a 6-3 victory. So loads of goals being scored across the games. Yep. And uh, great to see so many... High scoring games no, and high scoring huge, matches. Huge, of course. In the next round as well for Umer playing against Robbie Feldman. That is a huge game. Loser goes home, winner qualifies for the E Champions League later on in this calendar year. And of course, we have Anders coming up against Nicholas Rank and a lot of Should people. Should we tease in the, the games that's coming up? I think we have we to. We can tease them. We'll jump back onto the, uh, onto the laptop. Again, this is live from the Virtual Bundesliga website that any of you can access from home. Um, these are our matches that are coming up. You can see the German stream just below us as well. We've got Lucas against another Dortmund player in Danino. We've got Nicholas Rank, we've got against uh, Anders Vergang, of course. Levy Finn against Tim Ox, that's a bit of a throwback. Massive throwback. And then we've got, obviously, Mark uh, LDW, as you said, Ryan had a great Swiss uh, stage so far against yeah. Ferky plays. That's a big game. We'll click over to our match in focus. I mean, 98% of you, right, said that Anders was going to win this game. But you're right to say, Richard, last year, Nicholas Rank, he got a top four in this tournament when, for being honest, no one expected that much from him. And he, as you said, he went and beat Dula Mike and he went pretty far last year. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do because he will have a, a lot of pressure on him. He knows exactly what Anders is going to offer you. He knows he's going to be loud. He's going to be quite boisterous. If he starts winning, he's going to let you know about it. He, he seems quite level-headed, though, does Nicholas Rank. Um, I think Anders wins, but I don't think it's a convincing... Maybe as a scoreline is what we've seen previously with his teammate Umut, who was just on the couch. Let's yeah. have a look at his team. Sorry, Ron, answer as you were. No, just just echoing on from what Richard's saying. I think Anders, obviously, you you sort of he has that fear factor, that aura coming into any competition, especially one that's obviously the the virtual Bundesliga. They know how good he is, how well he's performed this year and in previous years, but he sort of scraped through, Richard, and of course getting through on penalties as well. This is the team of Anders Vergang, for those that are wondering. He might be one of the only players as well not to take Schweinsteiger. Team of the year. Thoughts on that, Ryan? Matthias, he's gone for in the middle there. Yeah, I think obviously Matthias is a great option too. I just think the passing play styles, but we know Anders, he, he likes to just play players that work for him in his 4 4 2 or 4 3 2 on formation. Goretzka, of course, he's choosing Frimpong in the team. Openda. No Harla. No Harla. It doesn't particularly like the no. super tall players yeah. and the, the aerial plus play styles as well. I think he was one of the only players not to start Haaland at the FC Pro um, finals yep. as well. I know we were doing the, the draft show for that, and that was a big talking point that all the teams had Team Mia Haaland in, and he had him on the bench. Um, so I'm intrigued to see, does it does it affect him in the end? I mean, we talk about Haaland as well. He's not on... 
that team that they were playing against as well. And uh, so I think it is a very much a, it's not Haaland, it's Haller. They might sound the same, but they're very different. Haaland is much more of a well-rounded player and I think he's a lot more meta. Yeah. Haller will score your goals and he will play well. However, he's not going to be that guaranteed pick that you simply have to have in the team. I've just been told that players will be walking soon. So we're not too long to wait. You know what that means. It's going to get very loud. It's going to get you very yeah. loud all of a sudden. Um, four games coming your way. I can't wait to see which where these matches go. Absolutely. As we said, we've got some blockbuster games coming up. Four more of them. Then we'll be into our final eight. This is what's to come up. As you said, you've got Mark LDW against Ferky Plays. Lucas against Dinio. Levy Finn against Tim Ox. I mean, Tim Ox still competing. I mean, he's been around the scene for some time, hasn't he? Yeah. He Dating might back to 2017, 2016. He might be one of the very first players that were signed by a football club, I believe. One of, it was one of the, the few names that were back then. Dave, by the way, he was yeah. one of the first. Yep, he um, was. Oh, my days. Look who's arrived. Hello, friend. <laughs> Come on in. Come and get the headset. Speaking of world champions, there's another one that's joined <laughs> us. Champion, <laughs> champions Corner. <laughs> Mr. Mo Alba. Mo Alba, how are you, my friend? I'm fine. Was Umut here? Yes. yes. Oh, I didn't see him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm the old man. Welcome to the English broadcast. Yeah, nice to be here. It was a long time. I was, I think, last year, e Champions League. Yeah. We had, like, a good time. <laughs> yeah. How is life now for you, Mo? Because you're obviously not competing as you, as you were. Yes. Do you, do you miss it? Yes, when I see like a tournament, like offline tournament, I miss it. But the way to the offline tournament, <laughs> it's really nice. It's, the, the qualifier, the it's tough, yeah. 25 hours qualifier, that was, that was tough for mental. Uh, but like when I see the players like have fun here with the guys and talk with the in-game and like this, yeah, I miss it. But it was not easy because it was not easy to qualify. There was no chance to qualify for anything. We've been talking to the chat all day. Um, I don't know if you see that from Donson. Mawalba's still mad because he got kicked out of Wicked Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was so... Like, just, just for a bit of context, we ran like an online cup, right? Just to have context. We invited Mo to play in the competition and the, the rules were, you're only allowed to use up to, what was it, three team of the years? Yeah. yeah. And Mo got a message from the admin saying, just to let you know, you've, you've, you've already got two any team of the easy team don't bring them on I think it was the birthday the players as well it was the yeah, birthday the players birth as well the birthday players was a problem so you <laughs> play against Olilito we get to about the 88th minute in the game and Mo makes a triple change <laughs> and who comes on the pitch oh the, the, the birthdays I the was leading 3-1 Olilito definitely knew that you were going to get disqualified he yeah. wanted to see if you were, we were going to beat you <laughs> then he, then then he, he yeah, then the admin gets the, the call up would you have done that yeah. 100% <laughs> <laughs> I did it on Olilito, like uh, like three years ago. It was e Champions League. He subbed in Ronaldinho at the 90 minutes, and he kicked, he. I said the admin. Ah, hey, he got revenge. That's yeah, what he got revenge. See, he didn't forget. But yeah, it was like a bigot. I won like 30,000. I was in the final after that, so it was big. When he got kicked out and didn't get any money, like he got disqualified. Uh, so like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah but. It, well, here we go. Let's have a look to see who we've got coming out to the stage. Um, this hype man, he's very loud, and we're not having un any understanding what he's saying, but he's getting the players out in this uh, jam-packed arena here in Cologne. What do, the, what, what do the German players think of Anders coming in and playing? Do they mind it, or...? Yeah, of course they... Oh, yeah, I think the people hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hold that answer Let's until we wait. <laughs> wait, do you get to choose the walkout song? Surely, I'm hearing a lot of different. You must. Turkey plays. And Mark LEW on the stage right there. Lucas official and the Nino on their way. They must be able to choose the, the walkout song. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've both got to agree on the song. There's two of you yeah, coming true. out. What would you pick, Ryan? You've got about three seconds before my music plays. I actually don't know. I don't know. It's a difficult one. 
Imagine walking out for champs in this at your home. Wow, but talk to me about both of these players, Timox and Levy Finn. You see, Timox has been around the block from a very long time. Levy yes. Finn's sort of like a relatively new-ish name. Who would you say the favourite is? I think it's obviously experience-wise, Timox, but I think Levy Finn recently has played a lot better. Um, Timox is like, he was like the best player in the world, yeah. like for many years, until like 2019. Yeah. And then he had a girlfriend. And so, just went. Yeah, we say <laughs> it like, he had a girlfriend and he was really bad at the game. Yeah. And then he... Okay. Yeah. And now he's back. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> now he's back to the top. <laughs> yeah. And then he, he's, he's again good, so... Um, yeah, but he's really good. He played a really good season also. So he's, for us, the favorite. Okay. Because he was one of the best players, like, in the season. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but in this, this only this tournament. How hard is it as well for a player like Timox to still be at this level for so many years? He's been playing for what, nearly coming like, up to a decade? Like, for me, it's, it's hard because he was like three years not good. So, we, we, that your confidence is like at the bottom. So, yeah, I have respect for him. So, he come back. He's like, like the same age like me. And I feel old. Does it give you a little bit of belief that you could get back up there and play? Yes. I think I'm, I'm not that bad. But, um, yeah, I, feel I need to practice a lot. So when I play now, so I, be I beat Olito. Even I didn't play like for... <laughs> don't, don't think you did beat him. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he said the admin, yeah, you have to, I can yeah, say. No, no. You yeah, no, no, you played well. But as you said, it's your first time you played the game properly for quite a few months. Yeah, then Olito won the tournament. He did, yeah. So, so at least you lost I, to so the winner. So my covering got, got a little bit up and I will compete in the Dallas tournament. Okay. So you I coming to Dallas? Practice, yes. And to Sweden, yeah? You, you come back for DreamHack? Yes, I play. My Alba's back. Is that yeah. breaking news? Yeah, I, I, I leak some news now. Did you ever, you didn't officially retire, did you? You never retired. I never retired. I, I play a lot. I like to play. I like to, I like to compete. So, yeah, I will maybe retire when I lose like the first two games of this tournament. <laughs> when you get first round. <laughs> uh, you have to let it go then. Yeah. Do you know when you won the World Championship yes. in 2019? Did you feel as though Mentally, you was a bit like, I've done it now, I've won. Like, that's a goal ticked off. No, I, was, I put a lot of pressure for myself. So, I think FIFA 20 was really bad the game. Like, it was a big difference to FIFA 19. It was, like, big change from offensive game to def defensive game. But even that year, I finished second in the E-Champions League. And then, yeah. I think the, 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 the gameplay changed a little bit. I think to this year I feel good again because of the crosses and the take play, 4 3 2 1. I feel good. Like, it's a little bit sad that I can't, I can't compete like in a well, big stage. You've got two tournaments coming up in the summer. What? you got two tournaments in the summer. Yes, yes. I hope I can perform uh, for myself. It's big for me. Just seen someone saying, uh, What is this meeting? <laughs> <laughs> Where the games are ready. If the games were ready, you wouldn't be sitting watching us. The game's just out ready we, to we play We can yet. preview the game that's coming up, though. Here's the stats of the game that's coming up. You can up. see something else for a second instead of us. The, the question, I think, to add on to Richard's point was, I think every player dreams of becoming world champion, right? Yes. And when you become world champion, it's like, what, you know, what's my motivation now? Because you've achieved the top. Yeah, good question. Like, I would lie if, it's, if I say it's the same, like before, because I think the big difference is you're not nervous before a tournament. Like before, you was always nervous. When you lose, when you don't perform a year, maybe you have no contract. But like two, three years after the World Cup, you're like safe. Every team wants you. So you don't need to perform. And that's a big problem, I think. You have to be nervous and yeah. like you, have, you need the pressure to win. And maybe I'm not mentally so good like Umut maybe, who's like always like crying when he lose now, even he's world champion. Yeah, that's maybe a problem mentally, but right. I think the big cha big difference was the gameplay because it was horrible for me, FIFA 20. Yeah, you just struggled with such different styles. Yeah. Um, talk to me about Anders, just some on the screen then. I mean, Ryan, you've, you're a big fan of Anders. Yeah. Um, how, how big of it as well that 
he chose, not, I mean, obviously he's with RB Leipzig outside of this competition, but yep. whatever league he decided to play in, it adds a different level to that league. He's just a, a phenom. He's box office, I'll be honest. I love his celebration. I don't know how you feel about it more. I know a lot of people are against him. The Twitch chat might not be favourites of Anders, but for me, I kind of like, obviously, we speak about how good he is in game, his pressing, his, his time finishing in front of goal, he's decisive, everything along those lines. But the celebrations for me is what I enjoy the most. I like people that they express their emotion and not afraid. Even when, and he can take loss as well. We saw in the FC Pro World Championship, when he lost, I expected a tantrum. He, he kept his own, held his, um, held his own. So yeah, you can take it and rest and, and give it up because you can see the stats on screen. Five wins, two draws lost and though, two hasn't losses. Did you expect him to have to go to that last game in the Swiss as well? Yeah, he, he was. Uh, he was already out, like, yeah. Five minutes to go. Yeah. He was down two goals. Yeah, he didn't perform good. Like, he lost in the Swiss round two games and also against Felix, like, in the third game. The side of the game, he was not better than him. So he was really lucky that he's here. But I said when he win this game do against you, Felix... Do you think the team restrictions has affected Anders? You know, he's used to playing maybe with any item in the game. And obviously, he's coming to the Bundesliga where the restrictions are quite hard. Yeah, maybe. He's like, in, at home, you have also uh, like a good team. So maybe it's a different to play like a little bit less good players. But I think, yeah, as a player, are good enough to perform with him. Well, this is our other game that's live. This is Levy, Finn, against Tim Ox. And there's also two other games taking place. You've got Mark LDW, Ferky plays, and Lucas against Danino. Could be an early start here for oh. Levy. Finn, penalty? No. Let's put you on the spot, Mo. Who wins this game? This game, uh, Tim Ox will win. Tim Ox wins this game. Yeah, he play a lot of crosses like like an old man play style, like me a little bit, like long like Ryan. also with Schweinsteiger. Um, <laughs> the Ryan also yeah, play just, long It's just the, the passing play styles. I tell you, Richard, man, they're important. Yeah, that's an old man play style. <laughs> um, but he's really good this year. I like him a lot. He scored a lot of goals. There it is. Cross, cross maybe. We'll wait for this attack to come in and then we're going to go and join our other main match up here in the Virtual Bullets League. If you have just tuned in, this is day two of the tournament. We're in the round of 16 at the moment. Live here in Cologne. He's taking his time here, Tim Ox, for the perfect counter attack potentially. Maybe a cross now. There's options in the box. Lofted in. There's Kingsley Coman. That goes for a goal kick. Let's jump across to this game. And there's Vergang in action against Nicholas Rank. I mean, Nicholas Rank, Mo, he got top four last year. He made semi finals. He beat Dylan Mike. What's his chances this year? What, has, has he looked better this year in the virtual Bundesliga or has he looked maybe at the same, if not worse? Yeah, he was like a bit surprised last year to finish that good. I think, like, even. Now he's like in the top 16, so it's a good performance for him because he's like also in Germany, not the big name. Yeah, it's a big challenge to play against Anders. I think Anders will go to the final against everyone. He's rolling. How do you how do you think you take down Anders Vergen? Just like this. Oh, I think you, you have need, to play the mind games. You need to play good in the first minute. Like we know Anders when he roll. When you when you feel good, feel confident, it will destroy you. So the first half is really important, and then you need to have like the sweaty game, position. I, I think there's a level of uh, you have to make similar to what you're saying there. You have to make Anders respect you. If he doesn't respect you, he's going to mock you. He's going to let you know about it. He's going to get confidence knowing that maybe you he expected more from you yes. as well. So in that first 30, 45 minutes in game. If you can get a goal, or even just play well and put him under pressure, it puts him on the back foot. And I think the players that have really put it on him, Levy at the FC Pro Open, PH in, showed him no respect. They attacked, they played their normal game, they didn't really do anything different. Um, as your prediction looks to be coming true, Team Ox won, they look. Let's see if it was a cross. No, it wasn't. No, it, it will be a long ball from the <laughs> on-help. You're really complimenting this play style, right? <laughs> yeah. He, 
he loves French like I love because of the play set. Yeah. Well, but talk to me about six minute halves versus nine minute halves. What do you prefer? Nine minute half was was too much for me. It's for tough. To concentrate yeah, is it was, just, it yeah. was really hard. Was you falling asleep in the 70th minute? Yeah, I was really bad. Like in the last 20 minutes, my concentration was was way. <laughs> It's gone. Do you think it helps if you like, maybe pause the game and then take time? Of course. I, I did it a lot, like in the pro ladder and like this. I did it because I can't. I had, like my, my head hurts after like 20 minutes in game. So I think for players always was best of two was better yeah. as, as one game. Because also I'm a player who get always red cards. <laughs> so when you have only one game, in, yeah, it's gone. Oh, uh, you lose. From a defensive area as well. Simple finish. And as that's the replay of him taking the lead. He's on the attack again, Brandon. This is where he's dangerous now, because he's got that early goal. And he can probably just smell a little bit of blood in the water as well. Obviously, no reaction yet. Obviously, Mo, you've been covering the whole season this year with the virtual Bundesliga. It was a bit of a shock, wasn't it, with the club championship, when Paderborn yes. obviously beat... Uh, I'll be like and I saw Anders giving it some on the stage yeah, <laughs> in that game. Really but fun, yeah. oh, what a finesse that was! Great save. Was that a bit of a shock and maybe a little bit of a humbling for RB Leipzig because they were so dominant in the club championship for quite a few years? Yeah, it was really surprising because I think in the one v one you can beat them, but like in the team cup with two v two, they are the world champions. Yeah, I think it was before the tournament impossible to win against them. So it was good for the for the league also. Like it's a real Bundesliga. It's good that Bayern one times don't win the tournament. So the other know they have the chance, but they have like a bit like bonus because everyone's scared about them. Yeah. Like it was. I, I knew it like three years ago, four years ago in Germany when I played. Some people who were good. They play shit against. Me. They they play really bad against me because they was like, ah, I will lose. And it's it's a lot of head head games. Mind games in the, in, in the esports because everyone is good. So that's a big bonus for the for the two guys in Germany, also international. I don't know, Ryan, if he knows when you played Tex like three years ago, he was like the, in the a bracket. Fear factor. Was you trembling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trembling on the six. It's sort of <laughs> you always still have that belief you can win, yeah. but it's just like why does it why yeah. him? You know, <laughs> like every time you think of it. Second for Anders, blocked again. Remember, two legged games here. This is round of 60 in the virtual Bundesliga. By the end of play today, there'll be four players left. We are playing all the way to the semi finals here in Cologne. And four more e Champions League tickets will be given out. Marmush, can he make the most of this? Appenda! Whoa! Off the that's twice, that's, he's Sanders! Angry. Look at the king, yeah. he's really angry. Could be 3 0. He's had that twice now and he's hit the bar. He should have scored, really. It's. I was one game behind him because I was interested in what, what he told, talk with the coach. And he said, like always, you are my coach. What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> like every time when someone, like, some crazy things happens. Yeah, I don't feel sorry at all for the coach. I'll be <laughs> honest. I think uh, when there's so much natural ability there, you're also in a predicament where how do you, how do you coach? Anders as well because you don't want to maybe make him more defensive or get rid of the press when he's there is key attributes mm -hmm. so it is I think a lot of it is mental yeah with him and he's been I think he's been much better you've seen massive improvements this year I mean the FC Pro Finals shaking the hand you can see 90th minute to a knockdown just getting on with it just taking it moving forward he looks like he's getting closer to winning a big title. He looks really close. Obviously, the 2v2 last year yeah. with the club championship, but he looks really close to, to winning something big. Sorry, just to drop, you can see a couple of scores there on the screen. I'll whack them up on the... Uh... Oh, hello. Big goal back for Levy Finn over here. 49 minutes on the clock. Also, quick score in our other game. We've got Lucas winning two goals still. That's in the game happening off stream at the moment. We've also got Mark against Fergie plays as well. That's another game taking place off stream there. Scoreline, two goals to one 
for Ferky plays as well. He's another player, Mo, that's sort of come through in the last couple of years, Ferky. Yeah, he, he did like a different way to be like a yeah, like a pro. He was first content creator and then a pro. So that's the way it's like it's not normal in the scene, I think. Normally you'll be a pro and then content then, creator. Yes. But like we have a big respect for him because he was not that good like two or three years ago. Grinding, grinding, grinding and now he's here and performed good. Big, big goal. You're just seeing the celebration there. Ooh, wow. Nicholas Rankable. Look, he do the under celebration. He's enjoying that celebration a bit too much, isn't he? Because <laughs> <laughs> he Anders ain't happy. Well, here's the replay of the goal again. Cross, Lam. Cross. Yeah, through back post. So Lam is the icon of choice there for Nicholas Rank. I mean, most people use Schweinsteig. Well, I'm guessing you'll be using Schweinsteig. Yeah, you said I you love a, a long ball pass. I think they have the same play style. So long ball like pass, yeah. I I would play Lam also because like I think he has more defensive stats. The stats are better because someone don't like small guys in, yeah. there in that position, like at the CDM position. The chat want you to stay on this game, Brandon. Show us this game. Uh, to finish the last discussion, Anders is still really emotional. Like yesterday, he played Umut. He lost in the last minute. And he didn't give the hand to Umut up. Wow. He didn't? Yeah, he was crying. Oh, that makes beautiful. Well, you're not missing any goals this time. 54 <laughs> minutes on the clock. Anders back in front. I mean, he's hit the bar twice in this game as well, Ryan. He's been creating. And now he's giving him back a celebration as well. <laughs> oh, oh, there's, there's the gritty as well. <laughs> There's also been another goal as well, quickly. Over in this game, he's completely flipped the game on its head. Tim Ox, one the up. Levy Finn now leading two goals to one over there. I'm sure we'll see that goal back shortly. However, we'll go back to our featured game for now. Two legs of action coming your way between these two. Fonzo Davies getting a rare call up. Where would you play Frimpong Waba? Midfield? It's not yeah, in this meter I, I will play in the midfield because yeah. too much crosses. He's too small at the right back. Like, a lot of people play like the old games, you know. And, like in 90, we played like Varane yeah. at right back. Ramos because of the, right, no, yeah. we play Goretzka. Mm -hmm. The people play Goretzka because he, he's a good header, good stats. Beautiful from Anders. First time driven pass into Appender, turn and a shot. And now he's up 3-1. This is going to be a, a similar celebration. Yeah, here we go. There is. If you if you were playing someone like, who was celebrating like that, and then hitting a, a celebration that is quote unquote community annoying. Yeah. It's, it's you react? If I'm it you react? All right, so I'm, if I'm being honest, right, I don't really care about celebrating. Like, it doesn't, that doesn't annoy me. In, in game, for example, if it's like in the actual person celebrating, like Anders getting up and screaming, that's different. But like someone greedy, for example, again, I don't really, yeah, no, there's but no But he concern. walked to the half line. Because there are also so people that really, really into that, Ryan. They, they, people get deaf fuming if someone does that again. Like, to me, I, honestly, it doesn't bother me, I'll be honest. I think it hurts. So you, you'd be more annoyed by, say, back in your day, Danny Hackerberg getting up and giving it yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> my blood's <laughs> boiling, you know? Like, <laughs> giving it beans with a celebration. Yeah. Right, we're six minutes in. We've just still got a long way to go. <laughs> Chance for another one for Anders. Big save. And the keeper. Ten minutes left over in this game. As we said, Timox went one up. The VFL Buku. And Levy Finn might be on his way to find a 3 1. He can pull away here. What a ball into. Last ditch challenge. Austin Harley. Coming for a hat trick. Okay. We'll see you You're soon. Off you, mate. It's been a pleasure, Mo. See you later, Mo. Take Good to see man. you, mate. Must have done his hours for the, <laughs> for the weekend. Did his cutie service. For the. Uh, 
Thank you. Them on, Thank Two you. old Tomorrow champions I'm there in 10 minutes. Back to back. Amal Brunovic. Last four and a half minutes, and we'll go back to Andrew's game. Very shortly, as soon as this one concludes. Timox looking to have the last chance of the game. That human, finally, you can sit proper now. <laughs> yeah. Me and Mo were a little bit tight on this sofa. <laughs> I was trying to work I think that's why he's got is up. It a, is it a one person <laughs> sofa or two? That's why he's got up. I think it's. I don't, two, two small people, maybe. But I think even you two would struggle on this sofa. Well, that was joining us here, right? Oh, they're going on this sofa. Thanks for that, boys. Added time of one minute. Is that us done here in this first leg? I believe it is. We'll jump across and we'll go back to Anders Verga. Three people bench with four people on it. I know. Oh, I know. We, you've got to entertain oh, though. Perfect four timing. one. Just like Anders is entertaining. Who's us. saying we missed the goals? We came in at yeah, the perfect time. What. Brandon took that personal. Yeah. Like <laughs> oh, Anders would have waved goodbye to the camera and the gritty again. On <laughs> it's just, just a bit unnecessary, isn't it, Notorious? <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go, just like Hitman. Umut versus Anders, grand final. Others can go home now. I'm sure they still got it's a lot left to play. You've got Johnny still left in this competition. I think one of the favourites as well. Roy Feldman. Against Umut as well. Coming up a little bit later on. Made, uh, I think what Anders has done in the scene, he has turned a lot of heads for yeah. people who maybe thought uh, lack of characters, lack of emotion. He's made people want to watch, just exactly like even if you don't want him to win and you're wanting, you're watching him to maybe not win and to lose. Yeah. Look at what. Floyd Mayweather did. The reason he's one of the, the biggest boxers of all time, not only was he unbelievable in the ring, but Antagonizer. people used to watch yep. to watch him trying to get knocked out but and to thing, lose. The thing is, though, you see people complain saying that in the FCC, and the players are like robots, they don't really celebrate, they're just boring. Someone shows emotion. And then everyone and gets on And they're complaining. Yeah. No, we need more of it. Anders, again, on the attack, turns, can't find the shot of goal. He's going to find it this time, near post, 5-1. For me, that's... that's he just waved goodbye. Yeah, it's done. Oh, there yeah, he that is. would annoy me, you see? <laughs> right there. But the in-game celebrations don't really bother me, to be honest. It's, it's nothing. 5-1. 87 minutes on the clock for Anders Vergan. Big performance, because he went one nil down. No, he didn't. He went 1-1. Yeah. Drew at 1-1. Celebrated, went back to the halfway line, his opponent. Nicholas Rank, and maybe he's regretting it right now. <laughs> he's just sat there just laughing. He's <laughs> like, oh, goodness. The thing is, people, it's, 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 it's just back to your points as well. Like, you, you can't win. I mean, are we, you know, you get a person that shows a bit of a. Bit of personality there and a bit of celebration. People tune in. Yeah, of course. People tune in to watch it. That, yeah. that FC programme final against PA Zim was ridiculous. One of the best finals as well because PA Zim gave it back as well. I think the, the final it was just the ultimate example of what this could be. Absolutely. When you've got two players mechanically immense, but then also emotionally in the game as well. Yeah. Well, we're not done yet, still in this first leg. RB Leipzig. 5-1 up. It's FC Nürnberg's Nicholas Rank, who got a semi-final spot last year in the virtual Bundesliga. <laughs> safe to say that they're not fans of Anders in the Twitch chat, but I think it, it's key to mention, obviously, people saying it's, it's, his opponent's getting battered, it's 5-1, but... The way Anders makes it look easy is sort of the hard part because he sort of nullifies him 
defensively. Of course, we've just seen that um, Nicholas have a chance there, but he breaks through his defence at ease. A lot of people, if they played against Nicholas, they would struggle to get the ball, let alone create this many chances. He's not done yet either, is he? Any time of two minutes. Is he looking for goal number six? Goretzka. He's not going to be able to get it. Oh, the chat does make me laugh. And in the 92nd minute, Anders Vergan will win his first game. He's still got a second leg to be played. The mentalist in the chat saying it's not toxic, it's mental games. Trash talk is part of playing the game. The thing is, people got to realise when he's I shushing, agree. he's not shushing at, he's just shushing at the crowd. He's shushing at his, like his own manager. <laughs> the crowd are not really giving him anything either. No. <laughs> um, were you a big trash talk fan? Sometimes. Kind of depends on the mood I was in. Very rarely. What are you? Rare. Can you say any of yours? No. On this platform. <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, the one of the last times I actually gave trash talk, I remember the event. It was years ago. We used to have a lot of events in um, 2019 in Bucharest. You two would have been a part of it then. Stood up, scored last minute equaliser, screaming at my opponent. He's opposite me, cursing everything. Kick off me straight away. I learnt my lesson. I'm never celebrating again. Did he give it back? No, didn't. I felt kind of bad. I felt bad, but then that's, that's it's, just, it? it's part of the game. I can, Janos. Remember? Yeah. Yanos. Yeah. You're the nicest guy in the city. You got up and celebrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, listen, I, to Yanos. It, it's, it's just one of them. It's in the moment, you know. You just have to. Sometimes you just want to celebrate. I'm, I'm glad he scored. I'm glad he scored. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> he did not deserve that. You can see on the screen some of the results from the first game. Lucas official during 3-3 against Danilo. Ferky plays. A lot of people in the chat were asking. Winning 5-3 in the first leg against Mark. Eight goals in that Mark one. Mark was four and zero oh in Swiss format. Unbeaten as well. And of course, Nicholas Rank, we saw Leipzig, Bird Gang. Turkey plays one. had to go to the playoff game as well, Ryan. So he, was, he didn't make it look easy in yeah. the Swiss rounds at and all. I, but I, you come in the knockouts, it's so different. Yeah, I believe you beat Predator as well. He's yeah. one, of the, one of the big names in, in Germany. He's won competitions before. And uh, yeah, so it shows that the level of competition that they haven't even reached this stage. Well, I think it's time I turn the, the chat around. It's time for another on my team knowledge question. Okay, down the camera. There is one player in the Bundesliga that's got 99 dribbling. Who is it? 99 dribbling. One player with 99 dribbling. Ryan is an awful human from Stoke. <laughs> yeah, that sounds that sounds about right from Stoke. Did you trash talk Stokes ever? No, no, no. no? no. I thought you would. You're watching though. Stokes. No. Hello. Uh, if you want to come over to Cologne, we've got a seat on the couch. <laughs> More than welcome to join. No, we never played Stokes before my day. That was. In the early and they, his resurgence for when yeah, you were terrible. Yeah, he's come back now. <laughs> 99 dribbling. Any of the chat got it there? I can tell you, I'll be honest. It's not Matt Hummels. I don't know. No idea. Not Kingsley Coman. Do you guys not know? Either of you two. Is it Tap Sober wanting to wild card? He's just read. The, that is disgraceful. And it, do you see how he pretended like he Did knew you just it cheat? as well? <laughs> Literally, Did you that's just shocking. Cheat? Shocking. I would have never known that, to be honest. Never. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it before the chat. We're on a oh, delay. That's the fun. Yeah. We're on a delay. That's all the fun gone now, isn't it? <laughs> We're on a delay. Um, for anyone asking as well, I've seen a few people asking a few questions about the Caputo and Alexandro. Uh, well, I've had that for the last two days. Uh, that game was played on Thursday. We're now on Saturday. Um, and Danny Pitbull of Juventus won the game, meaning that Alexandro is going to get a plus two upgrade. Um, we're back underway with the games. Let's get under um, these games because I think we're going to be starting with Nicholas Rank and Anders Vergang. 5-1, the first leg's finished. Let's see how the second leg can go. Still guessing. Manuel Neuer. Boniface. Cantona. We'll run a poll soon as well, chat. I think we're I'd like to run one of who's their maybe their favourite person on the on the couch. <laughs> Is there a neither option? <laughs> <laughs> Long ball over the top. Oh, he's onside. What touch? Oh, Somehow, Marco play. Royce. Oh, oh. That's a good play from Nicholas. Deserved the goal, to be honest. Deserved the goal. I think those are the moments you kind of need the. A slice of fortune to, to fall in your favour. Oh, 
The second game is underway as well that we can bring you coverage of. That is between Tim Ox and Levy Finn. And this game is a little bit tighter, actually. Should we just learn this game for a little while? Should we have the chat? Let the chat decide this one. Because chat, I, do you want to yeah. watch Anders, who's winning comfortably, or do you want to watch Team Ox? Just type Anders or Team Ox in the chat and we'll go with what you want to do because it's your stream as much as it is ours. Probably more our stream because we're in charge, but you can have an opinion as well. You're part of the show. Now we wait. Obviously, there's a bit of a delay. Oh, uh, <laughs> Falcon wants Anders. Sawslab wants Anders. And, all right, we're, we're going Yabby back. wants Anders. It's, it's heavily Anders. Go back. Brandon. Anders. Come on. Everyone wants Anders. Who do you want to see? Number one for Anders, number two for Tim Ox. I'll end the poll. Let <laughs> <laughs> me know where we're going. There's a poll in the chat right there. Favourite person on the couch? Yeah, vote Ryan right if I'd... you want to watch Anders. Yeah, vote Brandon <laughs> if vote you uh, <laughs> want to watch Anders. Don't vote for it, just vote for your heart. Yeah, rumour has it, if you vote my name, there could be a, a reward for watching the stream too. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> you cannot say that. You cannot right. say that. <laughs> the reward is a thank you from me, that's the reward. I'm worried about this poll result that's coming out. <laughs> Ticking right. down slowly. Be smooth zero vote. Yeah, I think I'll be bottom. <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon you're winning. I think I'll be bottom. I reckon bottom. you're winning. <laughs> We're back on the way here. Anders, as we know, 5-1 he leads. Red button for Tim Ox. <laughs> Good reference. Showing your age there, Rich. And six again. now, friend. This could be a gift, actually. Marco Royce. Again, he's lost possession. <laughs> it's been entertaining, hasn't it? That chat's been entertaining. We've got two different polls going on it. <laughs> Falcons Mike said, I voted for Brandon because he's one of, the, one of the guys I love from the commentators scene. One of the nicest guys on earth. It smells of brown envelopes, that does, Brandon. I'll be honest, a lot of payments going in. <laughs> number one for Richard, number two for Brandon, number three for Ryan. Big chance, Nicholas Rack. What a save, still could be alive. He could have had two goals in this game, you know. 26 minutes in, the thing about six minute halves as well is that you don't have that much time to get into it, to get back into the game, especially if you're down by four. Right, do you want to vote for Ryan? Ooh. Yeah, got a foot with Johnny in the chat. <laughs> Johnny, tap in free, please. Let's have a little free in there. Yeah, there we go, thank you, see you deserve. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and there's again. Such a 10 seconds left on the poll. By the time I've said that, the poll's finished. <laughs> the, the, the delay by the time one. it gets in. Change match, they're saying. See, they can't decide. The chat can't yeah. decide. Brandon, well done, mate. You've won the... No, I'm, I'm interested in the one in the Twitch chat. That's We've got I'm... two polls running. We've got one that's a little bit longer as well there. Who, who is, is who? who? Hey, Ryan, tell us. Of course. Anders representing at Red Bull at Leipzig. Kick it from right to left in a white strip, and then Nicholas... Left to right, red strip. We want Boras, me too. <laughs> <laughs> you watching Boras come over? <laughs> come and join. It's a big, big shout from behind us. And they're all going in in the games that we're not seeing either. Wow, it's a massive comeback as well. Hopefully be able to update you on that as soon as possible. Big goal over here. 3-1, Levy Finn now leads. After going 1 0 down to Tim Ox in game one. He's now to pull that one back. As we said, he's around the 16 games here in Germany. After this, will be coming up. Quarter final keeper. Just tapping it back up onto the feet of the player. Let me update you what is going on in the other games. Talk to me. Mark LDW against Ferky Plays. Oh my day. 6 5. Ferky Plays was 5 3 up in that game, Rich. That's the game. Mark, as you said, was so good in the Swiss rounds. Yep. 6 5, he's in front now. I think he's showing it now because obviously he would have come into to today on a Rich Vayner form following the day before. That was the goal that we saw, of course, 
for Levy Finn. Question marks on the goalie, but yes, it's tough. I've played in the other game as well. We have got BBB, Danino leading by four goals to three there. That's in the second leg. As it comes, a chance to break away now. Lovely idea of the roulette there. Could have been a red card. It was risky, but it was a risk worth taking. What a ball. Spoke about oh. Tim Ox. With those crosses, it's not the touch he wanted. I think he wanted the finish from Sebastian Harlop. Yeah, those are the, the situations that Moaba was referring to. Just those back post crosses from deep. <laughs> uh, favorite, put that? favorite person on the couch. 64% said neither. 179 votes. <laughs> Can I'm we gonna, see the I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a look. Can we see three the I'm gonna answer your question. Are you all ex pros? Who was the best out of the three? Honestly, it would. I don't, want, I I don't want to talk about my pro career. If I played Brandon at FC24, honestly, I'd make it look gory. Would you? I'd, I'd hit you for 10. I think Rich hits you for 10. Genuinely. Him? Yeah, I think Rich hits you for 10. I, I can play a bit. I can't see the pole, Rich. Rich has gone off screen to try and get the pole there. <laughs> right, who actually got the votes? <laughs> Brandon got 65 votes, Ryan got 20, I got 17. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll take that silver medal. <laughs> but over two thirds said neither. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Not right, back game. over Van der Gang's game. Nil nil first half. I mean, should we try and get Anders on the couch, actually? If he looks to see this game out and win, we'll try and get him on. <laughs> sorry, I've got to stop reading the Twitch that. It's, it's just, uh, sorry. It's making him a bit of a giggle. <laughs> They're just funny, I'll be honest. I just, yeah, let me, let me focus on the game. Lock in, Ryan. Look at the space for, for Anders. There's no real way for Nicholas to get back into it unless he goes constant press, so he has to go forward. <laughs> if, yeah, if Rich, we... you, sorry to interrupt you. You took your mic off. What is the score if you played B Smith right now? He'd win, nine but I don't think it would be... Nine minute halves. I said ten. No, not ten. You don't realize he'd win, but I, I'd score a few. Six-two. Really? Okay, fair enough. Maybe I'm maybe I'm disrespecting Brandon. I think Rich might beat you, though. No, nah, no chance. You've, had, you've played a few pros, though. I've dabbled. You've played a few. Not on this platform to uh, embarrass anyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you missed the question. It said, are all of you three ex-pros? <laughs> Depends what you class. I wanted to talk about my pro career, but Ryan was talking about no, no, it. No, no, so. no, go ahead, go on. Depends what you class, but he's talking pro clubs. I'm <laughs> right in there. <laughs> Anders will steal your 17 votes. It's <laughs> <laughs> not very nice, is it? To me or Anders. Bringing up that I got 17 votes again. Anders just running away with this one. I know he's not scored in this game yet, but he's had the luxury of. Having a 5-1 cushion. Oh, he's just dancing around there with a pender. Should we go back to the other, other game? Are we sure? I don't think the chat will like that, but I'm going to go over, yeah, all right? Go over. Yeah, I think this one is... We won the show. It's pretty much over. This one, though. Three went up. Levy Finn against Tim Ox. On to the quarterfinals after this one, boys. Yep. Loser goes home, of course, if you're not familiar with the format. This is a round of 16. You finish top four, you get yourself a spot in the E Champions League later on this season. Well, I can start previewing some of the quarterfinals coming up because this so round. Save that. We might have a little bit of time to wait in between games. <laughs> save the quarterfinals. You to save that, do you? Save that. All right, I was getting excited. Toby C says justice for Brandon. There's E Champions League uh, tickets on the line here. The permutations are really They're starting massive. to hot up. As we said, like it's, it's the end of your FC season. It really is. Tim Ox still definitely in this one. 30 minutes left he's got. For what it's worth, I think the guy in the light jacket is the best on the couch. Looks like Creed Knotts. Light jacket, that's kind of like... Nah, that's, that's definitely got a bit of dark strip on there, I don't know. It's definitely not me. <laughs> <laughs> this is brown, brown jumper, if you're wondering. <laughs> I mean, we've got a... Uh, 
We've Which got a minute in the couch, haven't we? I mean, look, team of the season's here. Yep. I'm sure I'll ask us about five times across the next 24 hours. Who do you think deserves the team of the season from this league in the Bundesliga? Granite Xhaka. Yeah. You would say that with your friend Pong. Those three. I mean, the, so, so basically, by Leverkusen. If Leverkusen go unbeaten, the entire team should get the whole a team should get a yeah, blue gen. item. Because did, did, did we not see something similar with Leicester City? They got these heroes. When Leicester City item, won the yeah. Premier League. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. I believe there was all the starting 11 for Leicester City, or like 12 or 13 players who all got special items. Yeah, I remember that. I think if they go unbeaten this season, there should be some reward. Uh, I did a bit of research, and I don't believe any team in the Bundesliga history has ever gone unbeaten wow. throughout a season. I could be uh, incorrect, but I believe that he's right. Um, Verts, that's a good shout as well. <laughs> Someone's just said, <laughs> Someone's just just said great jumper selection. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, I didn't, didn't know that the sofas were going to be brown. Oh, that's a brilliant comment. And I would blend into the sofas. But, um, yeah, the sauce lab, yep. Yeah, yeah. What, so what suggestions have you got then. coming in? Florian Verts coming in, Orban. Any buying players? The man in the brown jumper is correct. Yeah. Musiala. Kane done enough for one? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Right 100%, on. yeah. 100%. Especially if, uh, I know it doesn't got technically apply, mention, so it should. but if they go on and win the Champions League as well, because obviously they beat Arsenal in dominant fashion. Yeah, rub that in. <laughs> um, low blow, that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's You'd a think that blow. potentially they could go on and get something there. Yeah, Harry Kane, great shout. Does Neuer take it or Hedereki? It's a question of my Team of the season, <laughs> goalkeeper. <laughs> Lee Smith, if I'm being completely honest with you, my friend. Go on. I've not seen one 90 minute game. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> not one. You've not been watching the Bundesliga this year, no? <laughs> Moab was the guy for you if you want that stuff. Apparently Kane just scored. Yeah. Kane just scored and I mentioned his name for Bayern. I'm the Oracle. It's just been a big goal over here. Levy Finn pulling away now, 4-1. Headsets off for him. He's cruising his way to a quarter final. Do we have the other scores from the, the other matches as well? Come on, Brandon, <laughs> come on, update us. Can. Every player from Leverkusen should have a special item for what they've done this year. I absolutely agree, Falcon. Great man, sink alike, sir. Right, we've got 4-4 between Lucas and Daninio. We've got Ferky plays against Mark, which is now turned into wow, a 7-6 seven. Seven, result for Ferky plays. Remember, Ferky plays was 5-3 up, then went 6-5 down. That's yeah. a full time, yeah? And I mean, I think it's still going. I it think it is still sense. going. It's it still going. But seven, yeah. six. The, the audience have been, been relatively quiet. Obviously, supporting Mark a lot. You heard the celebrations, and now it's, yeah, just pure silence. And um, Luke's official. Three, uh, four, four. Maybe extra time. Why do you think in this game, Anders just hasn't been able to break through? Do you think it's because he's, he's five one up? He's, I don't know. He's, he he's, he, off gas. he's frustrated as well. Obviously, he has taken the foot off against. It's not the same as if it was a, a nil nil game, which we saw in the first leg. But he still would want to score. Anders is ruthless. He doesn't care about if the game's done on paper. He still wants to keep on scoring. <laughs> which way is that one gone? Only one way. Mark. No oh. way. Has he just made that 7 all? I think he has. Superb scenes here. In I think that's 7-7 in the game, just behind us on the main stage. There's Anders Vergang, tipped away. Fringpong. I think Fringpong and your, your, your <laughs> left back are sorted, aren't they? I think they're all to get one. Clicked Brought in now, about 25 minutes. Right. <laughs> that might be the first one on the team of the season. Yeah. Leverkusen, 25 wins so far, four draws. Unbelievable. Well then, the big news is Anders Vergang, after a very rocky Swiss record here in Germany, is going through to the quarterfinals. With a 5-1 win, he might not have scored a single goal in this 
second leg, but he did it all in the first leg, full-time result. What about yeah. this one from Jester Stewart as uh, Anders wraps up full-time? We need Richard, Brandon and Ryan. Whoa, big, big shout oh from behind us. Sean. Wow. I don't think we've got the power Eight, to see that game, unfortunately, but if we could, I'd love to go and jump over to it. We need Richard, Brandon and Ryan as a T4 with the sofa behind the goal in game. It's be a floating head with Yes, and the brown <laughs> jumper. <laughs> yeah. Do you rate Fantasy Mamouche? Um, I don't think he's very good, Creed Knox says. From what we've seen so far, he's played quite well. For this set of restrictions, I think he has to be in the team with this play style plus a varied as well, but if I was to play him, or you, would I use him in my own ultimate team? No, I wouldn't. Yeah, I think the overall what grand scheme of a striker, you're not gonna you're not gonna touch him. No, but if you're no looking for what a 98 pace player with an aerial plus, yeah, 94 dribbling. He really is the uh, the man for the job. 4-1 Levy leads here. I mean, if you're an RB Leipzig fan, the final eight players, Richard, three of the three of the eight, sorry, from RB Leipzig. It's not bad going. Yeah, I mean, we can have a look at the brackets soon. I don't and think they match, how they could potentially match up in a semi-final or. You would imagine they're definitely a grand oh, final. Yeah, they're left. matching up. Yeah, they're matching up. So there you Levy go. Levy Finn up against Anders for Andy's a spot. already had to play. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, um, both of his teammates uh, for a spot in the E Champions League as well. That is, yeah, that's a big game. Had it time sure. to follow now. Not sure if we're going to get Anders on right now with him going into a game soon. Uh, what time to schedule kickoff if you don't mind me asking? 9 for that p.m. Match. local time here. So it's about an hour, an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah. He might want to watch his teammate Umut in the game. I think we're going to play two quarterfinals at the same time, if I'm not mistaken. So if he does want to watch Umut playing, um, he might not be coming on. But we'll wait and see. Yeah. Is there a rule that teams must play with Bundesliga items? There certainly is. There is a very strict set of requirements in which our very own Ryan Pessoa will guide you through. Yes, of course, players have to be from the Bundesliga or the Bundesliga 2, but they have to be a maximum of two per club. You can have one icon that has to be German and one hero that has played in the Bundesliga. So you could use Vola, you could use Kohler, I think you pronounce his name. You could use Lucio. And look who we have joining us on the couch. He's gonna squeeze in next to Richard. Go on, Rich, squeeze on. <laughs> Anders Vergang. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Bring yeah, it yeah. down. There, there you go. go. Hello. Hello. Did you not fancy scoring in the second leg? Would be, uh, I don't want to be like rude to him, so. You just took it easy? Yeah. yeah okay, you took it easy. How do you feel about potentially, or not potentially, you will be playing your teammate Levy Finn in the next round. Is that a, a game, obviously, someone you'd have played a lot in practice. So how do you feel about that? I mean, it's like the game for each of us league, so it's like really important. And I lost to Umut yesterday, so I don't hope like I get kind of like flashback and lose to both my teammates. So I really want to win. He also obviously also wants to, but I mean, I know that I have more experience in these situations, but I also have to prove it uh, like again. And yeah, I'll just try to prepare for the game as good as I can. When you see your opponent celebrate against you then, he did the run back to the halfway line, you you went back, you did it the same, you gridded on him. Does that give you a little bit more motivation in game when you see them celebrating? Like honestly, if I remember correctly, then my first goal, I just like didn't do anything. And then I saw he did, I mean, he knows that I'm, he knows that I'm much better than him, of course, but I mean, after that he conceded four goals in like one half time, so. Maybe not the, the best move he could have made, but yeah, now I'm through and he's not, so I don't so much to say about so, it. Before you jump with a question, right? I've got another question, right? With your celebrating, do you celebrate to have fun or to is it just to annoy your opponent? Like in game? Yeah. Like honestly, I don't think about it. Like really, it's just like a, what do you call it? It's that second Routine. nature, just happen. Yeah, yeah okay, it's like enough. something I just do, like, like I don't think about it. Yeah. But like like this, when he runs to midline, I was thinking That's about it. That's different. Yeah, and yeah. people should also look like, people act like I'm the only one who's like celebrating. And every time I lose a game, everyone goes crazy. So they should probably like, yeah, wake up and see what's happening all the time. And yeah, now I'm in qualifying. I just need to win one more at least. And if I do that, then I'm like, like, you know, ready for championship t Sunday tomorrow. And we all know who's going to be favorite for the tournament then. Yeah. 
Gotta love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, gotta love it. Fight fight in fight. terms of your in real life celebrations, Anders, you know, when you I call it the clucking bird. Do the clucking <laughs> bird. Um, is that just does that just hype yourself up? Like you know when I do it in real life. Yeah, in real life. Yeah, that's like honestly like I mean I heard my coach, you know, he didn't say anything before, but when I scored to 5 1, he said, Next time, if you score, if you want to shush, then shush the guys who are sitting behind, like Umud, is because that was, uh, I, I like, I played a guy from Nuremberg, but it was Augsburg fans who were saying boo when I walk in. And it's like, it makes no sense that people are crying about how I behave when, like, people that are more than double my age, and like, <laughs> honestly, age has nothing to say, but it's still so cringe that people always are after me and everything I do wrong is wrong, but everything like other people do, that's like, that is no, no problem, that's yeah, perfect. Nah, so. you, Anders, talk your talk, man, talk, I like it. Talking sense, let's You're have talking a look a at the bracket. Sense, a lot of sense, uh, Get look your at opinion the, on the bracket. We'll get the bracket up now, looking. we'll jump up the laptop. Oh, sorry, it's 22, it's there in front of me. Um, I mean, you're up against your teammate, you are already at the World Championships, Anders, which obviously was a massive, uh, I mean, confidence booster for you early in the season. How big is that E Champions League ticket? It's big, isn't it? Like, honestly, I haven't really think about it, but, you know, of course it's important. I think, like, should be this, like, maybe the second biggest of the year. Like, but I'm really happy that, like, I have secured World Cup because, like, it is the most important. And that's, like, also takes... It's not like I'm getting worse or when there's more pressure, but it just takes the, that pressure away yeah. that if I should fail, then I still have this tournament. But of course, I mean, now it's one game, and in these games, I most of the times is going to win, so I have a good feeling. We're just going to go on over, because uh, I think we're in penalties. Oh, I'm trying to jump in into game. it. Um, Was there one point yesterday, Anders, when you thought you were going to get eliminated? When you were one and two? I would say... The first game I was playing really bad. I mean, I just came back from Las Vegas, so I had kind of jet lag, I would say. It's not an excuse, but I had. A quick one on that. What were you doing in Las Vegas? Because all I saw you do there was go to a driving range and try and, uh, and play a bit of golf. Yeah, we can talk about that later. But <laughs> here now, just here now, I lose against like a guy I never heard about. He actually went free, no, yeah, free zero. Yeah. So he was like somehow good. I, like, I played really bad, I don't know, I was just not focused not enough. That was my own fault. Then I played a guy called Marius or something, I won pretty easy. And then I played Umut. Umut yeah. Like, it's like, we know, we both knew that we were going to play each other. And I actually lead with two or something, and then I managed to choke. So, yeah, I'm very proud of myself at that point. Good choke. And then for today, I mean, I know that I have to play so bad to, like, lose three, three games in, in Swiss. And I just tried to, like, just focus on myself. I mean, I still, like, I didn't, I don't play, like, on my top level, and I'm still, like, in quarterfinal now, so, I mean, yeah. I'm still very proud of, like, how I came back, and, like, I mean, the first game I played today was insane, and... That was a massive comeback. We were, uh... These penalties are insane as well. Six yep. out of six so far, they both scored. All the time I watch these penalties, people can't save, I don't know how. Which way? I, I will not say anything. Like Guess the next one. I didn't follow, I just... Left, uh, right, or middle? Guess. Right, right up. Told you. Hold <laughs> on a minute. We played penalties early this year. I told you, I'm who, so who, clever. Who won that one? I'm so clever, man. It's too easy. There you have it. Big performance. But what, what I wanted to say was, sorry, as we just see... Lucas going through. Lucas going through and another Dortmund player, unfortunately, crashed out of the tournament. We were having lunch today in that penalty shootout when, again, it was elimination penalties for your Anders. At that point, you're, you know, you're flipping a coin to try and stay in the tournament, but then you survived again. You went two and two, and you went into that sort of playoff game, and you made that look a bit more routine and quite easy. I mean, I played, that was by far the best game I've played so far. Like, you know, the 2-2 two -two game. And I would say that the off-stage games, is like, there's so much delay on the stage, it's really crazy. Like, again, no excuse or something, but it's like really like this. And on stage, I've played really bad. I have to step up, of course. But yeah, this uh, one-two game was really important. And I also think it like, gave me something extra that I know that this tournament actually is important because it's quite hard when you know that you're secured World Cup to always motivate yourself because everyone wants to beat me so much because, yeah, well, I'm the best in the world. So that's just how it is. And now I will try to prove it. I mean, I was down with two in 115. And I was like, OK, if I'm out, then it's my own fault. Then I managed to come back, and I knew that in this situation, like even when I score 115, I'm still down with one, but he will get so nervous, and it's yeah. normal. Like you always get nervous because you feel like the only thing can happen is that you choke. And when I score this 123, 
it's like, okay, penalty is like kind of 50-50, but I just, I mean, I won against Young for World Cup and I just had a good feeling and my feeling was right this time. I've got two questions and uh, one of them I have to ask you before you, while we've got you on the couch. Firstly, the game that Umut's going to be playing, it's going to be up soon. You expecting Umut to win that game? What can we expect from that game versus Roy? I mean, I expect him to win like all the time he plays, so like I would be like surprised if he doesn't win. But I would still say it's kind of a tricky game to get like in a decider because if he, if uh, Feldman scores the first goal and gets like uh, confident, then like I don't want to say anything. But Umut has also like he lost against Levy in Pens for World Cup, and the year before he lost against Dame Sheet for World Cup. Did you see this guy, by the way? Okay, we'll talk about that after. <laughs> that was really weird. And then for the club championship this season, we lost it. This, like, he lost the decide against Chase. He played really good, but he lost. So I'm, I'm also scared like on his way that he's going to overthink it too much. But if he doesn't, then I've, I'm pretty sure he will win. The, the last thing I've got to ask you before you, you go off and start getting ready for your game. I've got to ask you about the FC Pro Final. Uh, it was one of the best games I've ever had the chance to watch. It was one of the best games I think a lot of people have ever watched of FC. Um, I don't know if you've talked publicly about this game. What was it like in the moment playing? Um, I personally thought you played better throughout the game, but I think PhD played better in moments and took his chances better. What did you make of that game and your thoughts on sort of that entire final? Because it was unbelievable. Well, like we can just, I can just start to say that I know that I'm better than him, but he played it really good and he know what is the biggest chance to beat me. And he like did that very well and I defended extremely bad also in moments. So I would honestly say it was my own fault. And then I saw like two weeks ago, he clutched in EDVC as well. And I, I don't know how, like, I mean, I feel like I'm better than him. And yeah, well, now we both fight World Cup and I hope I'm going to get a rematch, but like, you know, it's also like I know how he felt, and like, like let's just talk about his celebration. I don't care about it because, like, I would probably do the same. And like, when people do it against me, I don't cry. So people should not cry when I do it too. Like, it's totally fine, and there's no problem with him. And it was like, yeah, it was just stupid for me to like give him the last chance. But yeah, he played it good, and yeah, I felt like I could have won, but I didn't feel so much in the moment because it was like. Were you nervous in the game? I would honestly say not that much. And if I was, then it was not because of that, because I always get better when I'm nervous. I was not like overthinking, I just, I don't know what went wrong. I think I only lead one time. I remember I scored 45, that was my only lead, but then I gave him, I think on kickoff or something, he scored fast. But it was like the kind of same goals he scored all the time. So it was 100% my own fault. And when he scores the same goals, like people also know that I'm like better at the game. But I mean, he plays everything perfect and you just have to like respect him for that. And he always managed to clutch so far. So like I respect him a lot, like his mentality is crazy. And like, I mean, I think, I mean, my one, two game was also like kind of like this, you know, where you really clutch in the end and the feeling is just so nice. So like, I, I don't mind that he celebrated so fine. You got a question, Ryan, sorry, I feel like I've not. No, 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 it's okay, off, off you go. My one to you is, do you feel we need more people to celebrate? More people like yourself celebrating, like PAG and you. I would say I don't care about it because when pe other people are too scared to do it, then I just get all the like talk about it and I have no problem. Like, I mean, some people will think that it's bad, but I know by myself that it's totally fine and it's part of the like the game. So, like, I mean, I can't like answer on if I want other people to do it because like I don't care about it. I just do it because I motivate myself about it and I know that I only get better about it. So, yeah. like, I will never change it, I think, at least. Okay. Anders, thank you very much. Um, I think people are saying that you need to go and get ready soon. Really? Yeah, um, but it's been a pleasure. He talks too much, they write. <laughs> yeah, I go now. I'm very sad. I also have to play my quarter final soon. Don't, don't, don't worry the chat. about that, chat. Don't worry <laughs> they, about that, chat. They, they've abused me. They've abused him. They've abused him. <laughs> We've all been at the end of it. One person did ask, out of the three of us, who do you think looks the best? Who's dressed the best out of me, Brandon and Ryan? Like, only the clothes? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Should, should I, like, they say top three or only the winner? Just the winner. <laughs> okay, wait. He's not even... He's going to He's turned away from me. I Richard. think you win, then. Yeah, I've got thank commanders, man. What about his brown jumper? Right here, Do you like right? his brown jumper? <laughs> it was close, but I like your commentary more than these two.
I just say it like this, then you're all winners. You're all are winners then. Yeah. You're all are winners then. What do I win then? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Nothing. You're, he's the loser and we have two winners here. <laughs> <laughs> Anders, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank for you the so tournament. much. We'll see you, you soon. Cheers, Anders, mate. All the thank best. You. Take care. Thank you. Good luck. Let me take it off you, mate. Good luck for the game. I mean, that first part of the interview there, I think was the the the, the best. That's the that's the most open it I've is. ever heard him speak. I think he gets unfairly criticised. I'll I be think, honest. I think a lot, if anyone's just watched that right now, I think it might have turned your head on Anders. See, look, he's, he's actually, actually a good, a good kid. kid. I'm telling you, he's just a normal kid. He's just someone clip that, clip that, put it on the internet, and and hear him speak. You have to agree. I think because he's the only one that gives it that much. He's uh, he's always the one under the microscope. Yeah. Agreed. As he said, he's going to be in action in about an hour or so, playing against Levy Finn for a spot in the Champions League. I think he's happy as well. And as he's brilliant, he actually is. How do players qualify for the World Cup? Is it only for the finalists? Yeah, the top two players qualify for the World Cup, so obviously the finalists. And then all four players in the semi-finals qualify for the E-Champions League. Also, yeah, the winners or the finalists do get qualification for the E-Champions League as well. All right. We've done all right to be out, we've had quite a few good interviews. We've had Umit, we've had Mo Albert, we've had We've had a few Anders. good guests, haven't we? Yeah. We've had a few good guests. What we've got now um, is a little bit of a wait. Yeah, and whilst there's a wait, I'm going to head off. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> I'll, I'll take my break now. New SBC to open, is it? Bye, Ryan. Thanks for that. You walked just walking just across the camera, mate. across the camera there, yeah. Be back soon. So we'll see him soon. He's down to earth, just believes in himself, and that's what you need to do uh, for the World Championship. So I believe he was in Las Vegas, Anders, for something to do with the the esports World Cup, which is coming up pretty soon. But yeah, Ooh. don't know what what's happening. I'm sure Avila will be in time. Anders had World Cup already. Yes, he does have the World Championship already. Um, he got that through the FC Pro Open. Uh, I believe the top four players from the FC Pro Open who finished in the top four all got. Uh, that I think it was top four. Yeah. Fifteen. We've got fifteen players at the moment in the World Championships. Obviously, later you did on this write year. them all down. I did write them all down. Haven't got that card anymore. But we've got what? Levy de Vierd's already there. Anders Vergang, P8 Zin. Um, on top of that, we you saw Manny Bashaw. <laughs> Manny Bashaw, <laughs> Emre Yilmaz come through. Tex, Matthias Bonanno. There's Max as well from Ajax. They got his spot yesterday. We saw Hezers. And Virgil will get a spot too. Abu Maka uh, got his spot also. And then obviously the top two tomorrow will be getting their FC Pro World Championship tickets as well. Only 32 players can get there. And the way they can get there is basically through uh, through leagues. Yeah, we've got um, Emre Yulmaz, Levy David, PhD and Vergang, Matthias and Tex from the E Premier League, Manu Bashaw and Max from the E Divise. We're going to find the virtual Bundesliga tomorrow. That's going to be the winner and the runner-up, I believe. Uh, we have the E-Serie A, which took place yesterday. You might have seen us two there, alongside guest commentator X Sales, who did a great job for the finals as well. Uh, that was Hezers from AC Monza and Virgil, who will be with uh, Exceed Virgil. Um, good, great performance from him as well. Um, and we've still got so much to play out. Obviously, there's the Spanish League to play out. As long as well as that, the co the e Cotabal Isabelores, of course. Guy Barrios and Nathan SR. We had the EMLS Cup, uh, K1 John and Jafonso. And we also had the ESPL, which was Abu Maka's spot. And I believe this weekend we've got the ELPF taking place, which will be one spot. I think we've got coming in uh, over the next couple of weeks. French League, I think, middle of this week will be determined for ECL. Yep. Uh, the Aussie E-League, which is one spot. Um, we've got the uh, e Extrens Extras Classe, the Polish, Polish League. League. Yep. Yep. Uh, and, and there's the loads of play-ins as well, isn't there? We yeah. saw play-ins and E-Champions League spots given out in the Irish League. Uh, the Finnish League is about 24 hours ago. Again, you can follow all of this. Uh, over on the FC Pro channels of EA Sports FC. Again, we, I think you just saw on the screen, 15 minutes we've got into our, uh, our quarterfinals kickoff here in Cologne. People asking where we are, we're in Cologne, Germany. That is where we are, this is where this tournament's been for the last two days. And someone's about to walk past the camera. He's back. In three, two, one. What are you doing, Matt? I tried to not do it, but it just has to be. Well, 
Um, <laughs> Ryan, you've just had a little break. So what we're going to do, me and Brandon are going to leave. <laughs> I'm just going to carry the time. So I think yeah, what go we're going to do is um, we're going to go to a very short break, maybe five, ten minutes. Um, we're going to get a quick bit of water, stretch his legs, and we'll be back for the quarter finals. Uh, take the beauty cam, play some music. We'll be back in probably five, ten minutes time. And... Uh, We'll be providing you with all the quarterfinal action. So don't go anywhere, and we'll see you soon.
But welcome back here once again to Cologne for the virtual Bundesliga grand finals. We're in day two of the competition. Of course, myself, Brandon Smith, Richard Buckley and Ryan Pessoa have got our own couch set up here in Cologne where we have been guiding you through what has been an exciting round of 16. And what is to come is the quarterfinals, gentlemen. We've had, what, Moalba here, Ume, Anders had a great chat with us just a few minutes ago. But this is big now because this is the round where four more E-Champions League tickets will be given out. Yeah, it's a big game. And uh, I think the tension in this arena is just going to ramp up 
ever so slightly. You can start to see the, uh, the seats getting filled from behind us as well. More people filing in and there's going to be a real buzz around this place because each Champions League spots will be given out to at least four more players. Ryan, it feels, feels getting a bit tense. Yep, the pressure's on. Uh, we spoke to Anders just before the break as well. He spoke about how important this round is. He wants to qualify for the E-Champions League. So will Umut, so will Levy Finn, so will all the other players that are in this position to win their games. And the, get the matchups are ridiculous. Johnny against Henning, Rory Feldman against Umut. Two, well, well, two great matchups. Let's, Let's have a look at the bracket. I mean, we can could, we could look at the bracket if we can. If not, we'll preview our, our two individual matchups. I mean, we've got Rory Feldman up against Umut. Dortmund against RB Leipzig. That's going to be our main featured game. We'll be keeping more of an eye on this one, no doubt. Let us know in the chat who you think is going to come out on top of this one. Roy Felber made a big move playing in the, uh, the Virtual Bundesliga for the first ever time in his career. Signing for Dortmund too. He said it's one of the best virtual leagues he's been able to play in on the opposite side of things. Our other feature matchup of Johnny against Henning. One of these two players will be going to the Champions League. Remember that Johnny last year did make the World Championships as well and he had a really really strong season yep Johnny yet to lose the game as well eight wins two draws he's been formidable you can also see uh, kicks being selected but I don't see anyone sat in the chairs yeah no one's sitting down in the chairs and we're jumping into the games but all the players are in their seats we will get that sorted for you we promise there are yeah, it's a slight miss. Some people it's all right. It's okay. We know we know who's playing. We know who's playing. Yeah, Johnny who? Henning. Johnny up against Henning. Roy Feldman up against Umut. A big game. Big, big game. Qualification for the E Champions League at stake. Loser goes home. Of course, winning grants you more prize money as you progress further on in the virtual Bundesliga grand finals. I think we'll get those cameras sorted shortly. There you go. Switching on. Slowly but surely, we'll cycle through all the players and get the cameras selected. That is where our first game will be. The next match is just getting ready as well. Your featured game of this round. Rory Feldman against Umut. Just a few final changes in participation and settings. Do you know how to use a laptop, Ryan? It's good. What are you after? Just confirm. Chance. Okay, that's right. Free pong gets back. Defensively well. Lord Beerman, what camera angle do they use in the match broadcast? Right, and you've been in a match. What camera would you like to use? Is it all personal pers preference? It's, of course, it's personal preference. I think the, the most common camera angle would be telebroadcast, I'd say. In previous years, people have used co op, but I think telebroadcast would be the, the goal too. Do you think if you played against Brandon and you had to use end to end? Hold on a minute. Big chance for Johnny. He's going to be one goal to the good. Yes, he is. He were always coming. As soon as Fulrock got him behind, he's always going to finish it. If you had to use end to end and Brandon could use any camera he wanted, do you think you'd be able to beat him? Yeah. I do. No. <laughs> I do. I genuinely do. I do, but I think maybe I don't respect Brandon enough. The goal to, you know, I just. I'll I don't make know. it a terrible game for you. It'd just be so <laughs> difficult to play against. <laughs> Johnny 1 0 up against Henning, the, the permutations of this game. So a Huge. message, sorry to interrupt you there, Rich. A message about Haller's upgrade. It's already, the game already commenced yesterday, I believe. It was Roy Feldman in that game, he won. So Haller will be getting the upgrade in due course. Well, over to this game now. One of these two players will be going to the Champions League. Both have had rich history in this tournament. It's actually a couple of years ago in Sweden for the finals where these two were actually in the final eight. Rory Feldman. And he had that, that, that notorious game, Rory Feldman. I know Richard will remember it, where he kept possession, I kid you not. 70, 70 minutes. Yeah, 70 minutes in game, just kept the ball. His opponent just didn't press, didn't take the game to him and Rory was happy to knock the ball around the back and see that clock dwindle down. Locked it in. Should be 1-0. Two Very legs good. of action. Six-minute halves. 
back to maybe what you're more familiar with if you've missed any of the FC Pro season this year. It was usually what we've played so far. Nine minute halves, one leg. What a ball. Oh, Mouse could be through. Little dink in the air, there it is. Gonna win it. Yeah. Sebastian Harla. Always gonna win it. And from coming so close down the opposite end for uh, putting Dortmund one goal to the good, it's gone the other way. Umit will find the breakthrough. I think that's the painful thing from Roy Feldman, as you said. Down the, the other end, he was so close to scoring. Should have scored, or at least hit the target with that header in the box then. And down the other end, the same player for his opponent finds the back of the net. Puts him one goal up for Umut. It's, it's a tough, tough pill to swallow, I've got to say. This is live action here between Henning and Johnny. Corner whipped in. Ooh, hey, you usually see them going in. Obviously heading all manual this year. We're going to see from another corner. Front post flick on potentially. Pay attention to Hello, he's running in now. He's going to win it again. He's going to get another free header. He's saved from the keeper. They're just all last minute. Acrobatic. Third time looking. I think. Fourth time oh, looking. Back. <laughs> giving it straight back, playing it short this time. Goosens whips Keeper. it in. Zentner. Should go back to Umit versus Roy Feldman. Yeah, producer, take it away. <laughs> Starting <laughs> to get a bit of backache now. You got your little machine Thank deck. you very much. <laughs> you got your stream deck. Umit still needed by one goal to nil. What was it? Did you just press? You just press the button, Rich. If I did press, press that one there on the, on the game one. No, don't. Don't click the trio. Don't click that one. Don't know. You've got to click Stinger as well. Oh, so that. So that and then Stinger. <laughs> Have two. There's both Have games. Have two games. At the same time. Both 1 0 at the moment. Give me all the action from the quarterfinals. I've got this from here. Can't really see the games. <laughs> yeah, get but, it back look, into the game. I'm happy to keep it this for a split second. Keep it for a bit, I'm happy. I'll take it, don't you worry. Do you want to change Stinger? Right top corner. I'm looking for game two. There it is. You're on bang, it. Bang, bang. I'm a wizard. Don't go that far. <laughs> Obviously, these two players are very different records here in the virtual Bundesliga. Do you have any teams? <laughs> any teams? We all, we'll, I'll show him half time if you want. Do you want to see Roy Feldman's team half time? the teams ready, let's have a look at them at half time. Again, Bundesliga restrictions. Back post. It's it's a flick on. on. Oh. Yeah, I'm surprised we've not there. seen more corners straight from the near post. Similar to what we saw in the Serie A, in the Divise, and even the EPL. Yeah. Is that because of the, the personnel aren't as good in the air? They're all, but most of them are aerial plus still. Yeah, I don't believe that's the reason. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just not been practised enough. I think usually when you go short straight away from a corner, you sort of you haven't really refined your craft in that area. You see with Andes, with Mimwick, they've all worked there. It's the easy corners. option. Yeah, it's the easy option. Just quickly lay it short and then try and get the ball to the back post. Lofted. There's the down. flick on. Big chance from it for a second. It's just so easy when he gets into those areas, isn't it? You can't stop it. It looks really you, simple. It is. It, it looks very, very simple, as you said, but you can't stop that because the knockdown, the only way you can try to stop it is if you play a lot whilst the ball's in the air and then flick off. I'm talking about the defensive perspective here. Flick over to try and cut the, the lane for the knockdown, but there's not enough time. There's nowhere near enough time to do it. Just dink the ball in the air, don't you? Next to you, though. A quick flick up. As you saw there, Malmush. Hello to Malmush. Just like Cole to York. And as we go into half time, I'll show you Roy I'm Feldman's team. team. I'll show you Roy Feldman's team as we, uh, we play out. The initial time of one minute. Roy Felber might get one more chance. No, he won't. That will do his half time. I will take you to see his team. 
right now. It's the right-hand side. His team, he's gone for Lam. Okay. That's his icon choice in the team. I mean, Kingsley Coleman as well. Coleman and Goretzka are his uh, Bayern Munich picks. His hero pick is Lucio. He's gone for Scali. In a right back, Goosens, Orban, Hederecki. I mean, the goalkeeper's always up for a debate. Great season he's had for by Leverkusen. Hold on a minute. I could be wrong here, but I, if you could scroll down to the bench there. I don't believe, yeah, no team of the year Frimpong on the bench. No Frimpong in sight at all. That'll be because he's, he's using two players already from that club. Yeah. Doesn't feel as always necessary. He's got the Scallywag Scally at right back. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Soon as I said Scally. <laughs> Oh, paying him up. Upper left chest. Might <laughs> <laughs> take a little bit of a break. <laughs> Seen too much from Werder Bremen yet. Henning's been unbelievable. I mean, both these two were actually yeah. the first two players to go 3-0. The Swiss stage is yesterday. Ooh, I thought that ball over the top was going to be played there. Well won there from Henning again. He's going to build up with Goretzka. Step over, tries to shot cancel. Keeper's gone to the ground. He's got up, made a save. I think Richard. I think he could have scored there without having to do all of the, the, the niceties in the box. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the shot at goal there. It's easy to say that from here, of course, but maybe overplayed it slightly. Well, actually, these two played yesterday, which is rather interesting. Or I should say, not yesterday, they actually played today. Because they both went 3-0 yesterday, they both ended today 3-0, so they're matched in the 3-0 matchup today. Guess what the score was, Rich? Tell me. 8-4 to Johnny. So a chance to potentially get a, uh, a bit of revenge for Henning. I know he's 1-0 down at the moment, but there's still a second leg, of course, and a second half. Love it still to be played, Rowie Feldman for these lines at the back post, Orban. It's, it's half chances, that, and even the one there that at the corner, the knockdown, it, it feels as if he's doing the right things, it's just not falling in the perfect angles for the shot. It's, he's, not, he's not getting a little bit of luck. Yeah, and you need that sometimes when you're you're up against, especially against the likes of Umut. Ridiculous switch of play. Big goal. goal looking for that dig. Big goal's gone in. It's in a rubber feature matchup, and it's actually Henning that's come back into it. He said about him trying to get a bit of revenge for the game earlier in the Swiss rounds. And we haven't seen too much from him. It was just a simple through ball. And he was able to pull away from two of the defenders there. Werder the Bremen back in this one. And they were looking to go the full fans. way after their key player, Berkey Lyon, got knocked out in that playoff round. Former grand finalist last year. Unable to defend his trophy this time round. As we said, big round this one here at the Virtual Bundesliga because each Champions League spot and a spot into tomorrow's top four is on the line. Kimmich! Oh. Oh. Wow. Joshua Kimmich! Wow. What a strike! He scored in the week, didn't he, for his club, but it was a very different goal to what he just scored there. Got to see that again. Give a replay for it as soon as we can, I'm sure. Back to this game now, 65 minutes on the clock. But it's still 2 0 up. He's going to look for a little dink when he gets into this area. Dispossessed in the end. As soon as that other game does on pause, we'll try and give you a replay. Of that 2 1 lead from Johnny. Huge goal from Kimmich. It's flown past the keeper like it wasn't even there. Well, there's that dink. For Rory Feldman, Ryan, he's just not, 
not been able to really get going. Yeah, he's got 20 minutes left to try and even just get a goal back. I mean, he could get a goal back, actually. Mistake from Umut. Very uncharacteristic. It's going to be knocked in. There's knocked the flick down again. Again, it's Toe, just... Toe poke. Oh. I don't know why. Why has he got that animation there? I don't know. I, I'm... Ah, that's... Corner whipped in. He was just held off there. And uh, unfortunately can't register anything. But it'll feel real hard done by that that's not falling his way. That's a lovely strike. Timed it green, didn't he? On the edge of the box from Kimmich. That game is now back underway. It's just kicked off from the restart. And this is live now for you. 2 1. Johnny Leeds and SC Paderborn. They were the club champions this year in the, the other side of the league format to the virtual Bundesliga. There's a traditional club format. Let's jump across if we can as well. There's been another goal. And finally, it's a way back for Robbie Feldman, who's had quite a frustrating day in this first leg kick. We missed the goal. We'll see it again on the replay if we can. It was just Marmish. Outside the boot, right place, right time. Probably what he's deserved yeah, with agreed. the couple of chances that he's had. That was the finish. Yeah, Recycled it back to Marmosh. Yeah, good goal. Deserved though, as, we, as you said there, Richard. I think he's been, been knocking at the door. Couldn't really find an opening until then, but... Spoke to Umar earlier, he speaks about being patient, sort of forcing his opponent. He knows this six minute half, so there's less time for you to, to sort of respond if the, the clock ticks on. You have to go forward. But now 2 1 is, is a tricky position to be in. In between the two legs, so we're not going to have anything to go to. We've only got two games taking place at the moment. Got any more trivia? So I didn't expect that to come to me. <laughs> <laughs> Big. Big goal, you can see the reaction behind us. It's Johnny, and here comes Johnny. That is shocking. <laughs> but yeah, I'll have some trivia for you. 3 1. Kane's with the finish. Kane in the back of the net. It's a replay, the, the offside trap. It's, it's poor defending, I'll be honest. I think he's committed, thinking he's going to pay for the extra pass. He didn't, and it just left an, an open chance. Goals, just had another goal. goal. It's jumped back across. And it's another one for Umit, who has now just gone three one up. Everyone's in the pause at the moment, off the back of the replay. You can see it here. This was the moment. Just stopped wow. on it. It's crazy finish. What's the finish? Squeeze into the near post. The one thing that you see it is because the players that they've been given, there's no real skill moves. No elasticals, no reverse elasticals. It's, it's very rare because you obviously, you've got Kingsley Coleman, you've got five star skills, you've got um, Fulu, I think that's how you pronounce his name again. Other than that, Goretzka, but then you don't really different versions. Position. Yeah, you've got different versions of the the birthday items in game. Yeah, there's not many. Obviously, the attackers you've got Hello, of course, Marmus. Compared got to where we were yesterday in Verona for the Italian league, you were able to use previous icons who had played not necessarily Italian icons. So you're seeing R9, oh, nice. you're seeing Ronaldinho, yeah. you're seeing Hullet. Taka, yeah. Like there were there were crazy teams. And, and unbelievable items as well in the final third. Um, I think we've seen a lot more sort of uh, basic, does it an injustice, but basic FC being played. Getting the ball in around the box, taking long shots if you need to, playing for crosses, playing for headers, playing the core fundamentals. Yeah. And I think that probably does suit someone like Umut, who is a perfectionist in that area. Keepers being weaker as well, because obviously you can't really more shots going in. On, more shots going in, yeah. Could be a last attack in this first leg. Don't think there's going to be enough time to, to push forward. That'll do us for the halfway point in that leg of the game. And also a full time whistle in the RB Leipzig rugby matchup as well. That's our grand stage here in Cologne. Probably some of the best sets in terms of. Play a game in pods, you can see on screen there. Halfway through them, I mean, we've got two players slowly pulling away in the games. One leg away from an E Champions League spot. 
And for Umit, I mean, it'll be one win away from a, a World Championship spot as well, which would be massive for him. Yeah, really, really close, isn't it? He, he's, he's edgy, edgy never closer. Um, but the two players that they're against, Henning and Henning for Johnny and Feldman for Umit, are both capable of bringing this game back. 100%. You can see the results there, Ryan. Both games 3-1. Yeah, I think from what we saw anyway, it seems if Johnny was happy to just keep possession, especially after getting the the third goal in that game, obviously Umut against Roy Feldman. As you mentioned, there's no counting out someone like Feldman. However, from previous experiences and playing against him, obviously we've seen him a lot in the past. He's someone that thrives off being in the lead rather than chasing a game. And I think for Umut, similar to what he said earlier, if he can keep it 3-1 going into the half time of the second leg, I feel as if slowly he'll start to pull away and get the, the fourth, the fifth. I don't know if you can hear this in the arena. It's silent at the moment. The the German commentary that you might have heard in the background has, has gone quiet while they're in this little bit of a pause now. The players are getting ready. The crowd is silent, waiting for the next matchup. You can get a little, feel like I'm on the stage here. <laughs> um a glimpse of what they could see and what they'll be feeling while they're up there. But it's it said it's going to be tense before these games started. It really does feel it now. Well, it's it's season-defining, isn't it, for a lot of mm. these players? You win this, basically you guarantee yourself into the Champions League, which is a, a standalone tournament. There's no link from that into the, the World Championships. But you're looking at potentially three events. If you do well in that well, first one, you qualify for the second week and you're playing three weeks of FC in different competitions in London in May, so it's massive. And if you can do enough to get in the World Cup as well, I mean, you're, you're laughing. You've got a lot of tournaments to be played, especially with those DreamHack events coming too. Trivia? <laughs> a bit trivia. Right. Let's see if this Twitch chat's still awake as well, because... <laughs> trivia a, time. Here's, here's, here's one for Come you. On. Right. You two can't get involved, or Richard can't get involved, because he's going to know the answer. Before, was... we, before we go there, get rid, kid. Richard, your jumper is making you blend you with the sofa. He's a floating head. That's what I said, is he? <laughs> trivia. Right, trivia. Um, <laughs> question is, first answer in the chat wins. Who is the strongest icon on FC24 right now? Can I answer? Yeah. I don't even, can I get, can I, how many guesses do I get? You get one. No, I can't, two. two, two Just give me one. No, two. Give me one. Two, two, I won't confirm if it's right until I get a few answers as uh, well. Drogba or Vidic? They're one of my Drogba two. or Vidic, you think? You'll pick one. Drogba. Okay. Chat, what are you saying? What's the chat saying? I feel like I'm sure he's got that. You said strength. Strongest, right? yeah. So not physical, just the, the strength. I could have sworn he's got 99. Maybe Ferdinand, I'm making that up. Ferdinand, Hierro, R19 oh. the year, Desai. Do you know what the answer is? Go on. Drogba. Correct, mate. 99 strength from him. I think Vidic weren't far off, though, to be fair. Yeah, I'm proud of myself for that one, to be honest. <laughs> Surprised you came through with it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get underway. Second leg between Johnny and Henning. Good if you missed it. Goes back into the game. <laughs> <laughs> we saw Johnny winning 3-1 in the first leg. Of course, the same scoreline in our other featured game between Roy Feldman and Umut. Roy Feldman losing 3-1. Hello, look <gasps> finesse. Oh. Johnny! He's looking wow. dangerous for Paderborn. He looks like he's on his way to an E-Champions League and he's going to be in fine form for tomorrow. If he can Pender. keep playing like this, a Pender on the finesse. Thank you very much. Wow. Here's Johnny. <laughs> stop it. I'll stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> what a finish. Let's, let's have a double look at it with that good. Does he green time this? He doesn't. Wow. Why are they playing the same players again? So we're playing two legs, so we're playing aggregate score lines. If you see the top left corner there, it says game one, oh, uh, three, one. Speed boost there. Keeper movement does it now. Rebound doesn't fall away for a quick response for Henning. So yeah, there's two legs in this format. Add the scores together. Say. Yeah, aggregate score lines. It's not a best of one nine minute halves which we've seen in other tournaments. In the centre back version. Yeah, P maybe the 2024 version as well. <laughs> Brandon just fact-checking his stats. Had to on every year put out a talented player. Yeah, they've done well, especially this year as well. They're sort of winning that, that game against Leipzig as well. Just got to get a fact-check on this one. 
Yeah, it'd be correct. We missed the goal in our other game. Umut, 10 minutes in, or just before the 10-minute mark anyway, getting the goal to make it 4-1. And Brandon Smith has been exposed by the Twitch chat. There's I'll another take player. That off. Take that off. <laughs> There's another player with 99 strength. In case you go to it. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't need to wear any more trivia <laughs> stuff, oh do we? <laughs> oh, my God. So I wasn't clicking. <laughs> I'm not going to wear any more trivia stats yet. Shall I fact check even more? Let me just have a quick look. Are you, are you checking? Oh, <laughs> the same players. Okay. Paddleball every year putting out a talented player. I mean, look, that's the great thing about... <laughs> he just about... said that. <laughs> he just said that. <laughs> what did he say then? <laughs> he said Paddleball putting out a good player See, I'm, I'm active on the chat. I'm trying to respond to people, Brandon. <laughs> what I wanted to say in the same breath was it's great that the virtual good is league. There's <laughs> maybe lesser known clubs. Yeah. In past it. years, like VFL Burkum and Megabit Absolutely. came through and basically dominated the scene. You can even say that again this year with Tim Ox doing well there, Predator. Doing good runs for them. Furky plays also in that conversation. People asking about the Rowey Feldman game against Umit. That is live now. We'll jump over to it if you want. To give you the lowdown, it's currently 4 1 to uh, Umit, who looks like he's on his way to an E-Champions League again. Just outside. 23 minutes on the clock. Former world champion has a three-goal cushion. Look at the back post. It's there. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That has to be a goal. Has to be a goal. Probably ask him why he's not headed it. Even still, you expect it to be on target. What are you fact checking? Some of the 99 strength icons. <laughs> big, big goal. He's Johnny. running away with it. And he's looking like the man to beat in Cologne at the moment. Dominant in the Swiss rounds. Beat heading eight goals to four when they matched up earlier today, just a few hours ago. 1.15 local time in round four of Swiss. It's great comments coming in, isn't it? Let us know what you think as well. To these incredible games. Emma leading comfortably. Johnny now in a dream position. Paderborn paying the goods right now. They're running away with it as well, aren't they? 5-1. You have to say the gap for both of these Chance. finals now is just getting slightly too big. Or not. There's a goal back. Let's jump across. It's come from Dortmund and Rowe Feldman. Let's pull another one back there. That'll be Five goals. It's a two on aggregate. You can have a nice chuckle on. Tom asked, have Leipzig got two people representing them? They don't. They've got three. Wow. Le Levy Finn, Anders Bergang and Umut. Of course, watching Umut now. They make up, what, three of the final eight, as we've been saying. Unfortunately, only two of them are going to make it to the ECL. Big chance, Roy Feldman. Rebound. Oh, oh. bicycle kick. Zent <laughs> wins a corner. Off that save. Back post is available. He's just enough. Lucio. Oh, what kick is that? What, what is, is going on? Did he use his ankle there or did he head <laughs> that way? back. I don't know. I think he's diving headed it. Oh, it did a roly poly into the ball. Tell you what, the acrobatics we've seen from Zentner in multiple moments today. Loves a camera save. So we go. Again. What's he done I'm here? Sure he diving heads this. He does. He does. What <laughs> is going on? <laughs> Brave. <laughs> See what though? The last five in-game minutes, so Ro, he's just been picking oh, up the pace of the attack. Is he offside? offside. Yes. Just. So let's just add the scores up very quickly. That's five to the scoreline right now to Umut. But 
if Feldman gets the next goal, makes it 5-3. Not too big of a turnaround then. Needed for the Dortmund player. Switching from side to side, playing for the last chance. Such a big game, as we said. So much riding on this for their seasons. Goretzka. Tamama Schweinsteiger. I don't think he's going to fancy a shot from there. Either is Frim Pong. Dinks it. Flicks it. He makes it it's look so simple. though. The header there, the knockdown. He wins it every single time. Is that just a little square dink into him? I think it's an L1 square. So it's just a little lofty dink into the player. Well, both games are in half time at the moment. Um, what's got, what have we got coming up, I hear you ask, in the remaining quarterfinals? Anders Vergang will be playing. He'll be playing against a teammate. In Tough a game, big, that. He's had to play game. against both Let teammates, hasn't he? In the uh, virtual Bundesliga. Play against Umit. Yesterday, playing against Levy Finn now, but for uh, an E-Champions League. Yep, must-win game for, for both of the players. See, if you lose, you're eliminated. You win, you get your E-Champions League spot later on in this season. And, of course, through to Championship Sunday tomorrow, you Josh, fight for a World Cup spot as well. Do you want to go full screen on game two, see some of the in-game changes being made there from uh, Rory Feldman? Well, it's just player instructions, really. But for someone at home, Ryan, that doesn't use player instructions, it's a big, big input you need to start using. Yeah, of course. It's, I think a lot of the, the pro players and competitive players throughout this year and in previous years, the goal-to formation is, for me, is the 4-3-2. And I think a lot of players will say that as well. They, they use it. You can create overloads with building up with one fullback on balance or, in Umut's case, he plays with two going forward. And it defends in a 4-4-2 as well. So it's, it's very structured, both offensively and defensively. Yeah, that's the key this year, Rich, just playing for the, the knockdowns at the back post. We've seen it in other virtual leagues as well, but it's no different here as well. Absolutely. <laughs> a bit of water in my mouth as you asked me that question. Um, but yeah, the the knockdowns are essential. <laughs> pretty sweet pretty sweet nip my drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my water, that one's yours. I'm sure you've got me a new bottle. No, I don't think so. Sorry, buddy. I can get you one now if you want. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Water? No, that's fine. Well, we're back underway. <laughs> oh, but Massive space. opportunity to switch it there. Oh, I thought I didn't fancy it. Marmo has to from it. Big goal. Six goals to two. A four-goal gap comes again and... It's just a big ask, isn't it? Six minute halves. Yeah, I feel as if the team press from Roy Feldman has come a bit too early, in my opinion. He, he left too many spaces for Umut to exploit there. Can't throw bodies on not, that for you. Not like that, especially not against someone like Umut, who will normally capitalise off of the spaces in behind. And for me, I think it's game done, especially if this, is, if this was a nine minute half, I think there's still- Potential. Yeah, four goals in one half against Umut, I personally don't see it, especially without uh, at least conceding any more. Brilliant goal in the other game, by the way. We'll see you go on the replay now from the pend up. Five goals to two on aggregate. Johnny is still in the lead of this game, but look, just completely sent him away. Beautiful goal. Pender pulling away from two of the centre backs there. Great feet. Great goal. Red timed. <laughs> Sometimes you need a bit of luck, don't you? <laughs> He's still, he's trying five goals to two. Still a big three goal gap, isn't it? Yeah. I can see everyone in the chat liking emotes at the moment. So I'm going to ask you, show a bit of your creativity, show a bit of your character, your personality. What is your favourite emote in the chat right now? Put the game to bed now. Let's see what we get back. Let's see what moats come back through. I think if Johnny scores here again, this could be could be game over. Keeper's gonna get there. 
Easy pick into the end. We'll try and get a couple of guests as well on the sofas with us. Big fan of the FC Pro emotes. It's Kali Goretzka. Oh, I'm willing to change him. He's trying to keep his season alive. It's onside. What a touch that is as well. Around the goalkeeper. There's a goal. need to Umit. He's on his way. Those two touches are unbelievable. The touch away from the defender and the touch to send it past the centre back, but not enough on it that the goalkeeper Keep takes him it. out. Yep, exactly. So the, I think Umit. What was the score in this fight? It was 8-1. We saw him earlier running around of 16. He's now 7-3 Three. Three up. So he's got 15 goals so far in, in almost two complete sets of matches. Five goals in 25 minutes just will not be on the cards, unfortunately, for Owe Felber. The Bruce U Dortmund who look like they're going to be falling at this stage of the tournament. thinking about doing is after this game is done if Johnny does win we're gonna get Johnny up here on the sofa and we're gonna ask him about the team that he's built great idea because he was also he would have also just qualified for the e Champions League. Do I have League. to sit next to Johnny? He's gonna make I, would love to see that. I would love to see that you and Johnny in the same sofa just the high difference. <laughs> I'm not necessarily small either. No we can swap seats if you want. But that makes you even worse. It's like a foot taller than you. It's playing heads and volleys in the box. What a turn there from Coleman. Goes a bit too wide. Johnny's still getting off his feet, celebrating. You can see him there. With the, you would say, killer blow in this game, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. I feel as if, if there was any sort of comeback, which would have been extremely unlikely anyway, it needed to fall in the way of Henning that goal and it it's full in the way of Johnny back pole so much space in the area volley and that makes it 6-2 on aggregate 20 minutes left to be played it looks as if Johnny's going to be securing a spot in the e-champions league later on this season and of course a top four spot guaranteed into tomorrow so much pressure off the shoulder isn't it guaranteeing yourself another land event Ryan which only a handful of players can get to you get to go home, job done for today, come, come back, back tomorrow, tomorrow, win another game. A very difficult semi-final it's going to be because you're going to be playing against Umit, who will be after some revenge after Johnny knocked him out last year yeah. from the virtual Bundesliga. And who will be looking for an FC Pro World Championship spot as well, Umit. Could be the sweetest revenge or it could be a terrible. He's made this knockout rocket look pretty straightforward. The thing is, when you play this well, sometimes you kind of just wish the day continues because you can carry on with your flow, but then you have to reset and go again tomorrow and just you try and hope you can pick up on the same form. P.W. Umla, who uh, might be watching a bit of a delay. Campbell is the strongest. <laughs> it's about six hours ago. But I think, I think there's a few players that have snuck through. It's onside. This could be five. Ooh. It's nice to miss it around, but it's already leading by seven goals to two is Umit. Harvey likes it. We'll have their first player in the Champions League. They've already got Anders Vergang in the FC Pro World Championships. And they still will be guaranteed to have another player in the ECL. How would you possibly defend that little L1 square from not even a cross, just a lobbed pass into a player? I don't think you can do much in those situations. Obviously, if you try and play a across, I don't think you have time. Because it, it seems it's very quick and snappy the way Umut's done it. It's obviously someone they've worked on. You kind of just have to hope your player can win the, the second. Yeah, the second. But the first one, I just don't see anyone in this team that can challenge Haller in the air. It's, it's tough. Had a time of one minute, and that will be unfortunately the end of the rope. 
for Robbie Feldman in this tournament. First time in the virtual Bundesliga. If it's still a top eight finish, it won't be much now. Unfortunately, that is the end of the road for him. He won't be off to the FC Pro World Championship finals or involved in the final day tomorrow. Someone that will be, though, will be Umit as we jump ships over to this one now. 6 2 on aggregate, Johnny. Still focused in, still locked in. But he's got a four goal lead with only 10 in game minutes left to play. I think we can confirm two more in Champions League tickets. Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately for Feldman, he just caught up against Umit. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a real tough, tough build to swallow when Mole. Oba was sat here earlier and you were talking about not wanting to play certain people. You look at the bracket and think, oh, I've got to play Umit in the quarters to make sure to continue my season, I've got to play this guy. Yeah. Like, it's a real, real tough, tough game. You would have to play your best and probably Umit would have had to play off the pace ever so slightly, Ryan. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one for Ray Feldman, of course. An all-important game you beat Johnny up against Umut for a World Cup spot tomorrow. That is, that's massive. And also, Johnny still yet to lose a game. Have a little bit of fun now. He's tried to skill his way towards the box. Just a few minutes left plus additional time. And we know it's game over now. Heading does two, unfortunately, the end of the road for him. They matched earlier today, they matched again. The respect between the two players, and in case you missed it, we'll show you the highlights of exactly what happened in this game. Full time result in our first two quarter finals. Two big, convincing wins across the two legs. Yeah, massive goal swings again. Something we've seen quite a lot. I mean, we've seen all the, the best moments here from these games. Um, some really pretty goals, some quite straightforward goals, shall we say. Uh, ball being played in the air, but there's also some real nice moves. That one right there, it's yeah. a good goal. The reverse pass, the Traveller. The build-up play is what makes it a, a beautiful finish. Appender, look at that. Step over, sells his man. That was Henning getting one back, but it was just too little too late. That might be one of my favourites, that one, to be honest. The, the full rook acceleration away from the defender and every goal that he scored he was just getting off his feet and roaring with a, a handful of people that really support him but look he's done half the job that he came out to do you could argue and what's great about these leagues now is that when you get to the the quarterfinal semi-final stages we were saying yesterday in Italy Richard you win one game each championship you win another one a world championship spot you win another game you're champion here in Germany so uh, there's a lot on the line in this one, in case you want to see the, some of the stats from those games. Heading into it, that was the lowdown for Johnny, who, as we said, was the most convincing player. Look, he hasn't lost a game. Eight wins, two draws across what has been a crazy, crazy Swiss tour for him. I think on paper right now, he looks like the man to beat, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. And he, he wants to get a spot into the World Championships. He has to overcome a previous World Champion in Umma. It's going to be a huge game tomorrow. Two players who have looked imperious in the bracket play, you've got to say. Just no real danger at any point. They've flown through these games, and it's going to be a real, real interesting matchup. This game is what's coming up. Lucas, part of the. Uh... Happened earlier on today, that actually. Sorry. Um, went to penalties while we were talking to Anders Vergang that match. Um, Lucas going through, so he'll be in the quarterfinals. But uh, I've, you might have seen me just move up in the chair. <laughs> We're hoping that there's going to be someone sat right here for an interview. Um, and he might be on his way now. But there are the quarterfinal results um, as it stands. 6-2 Johnny with the victory and Umut with a 7-2 win. I keep looking over my shoulder. As we said, Mark against Lucas will be our next game today. Lucas was part of the FC Pro Open, you have to remember. Yep. Maybe didn't have the uh, the best group out in there, but would have taken a lot of learnings from it to come into this virtual Bundesliga. And as we said, Anders Vergang against Levy Finn in our quarterfinals here at the virtual Bundesliga. One of those two players 
will be going to an E-Champions League. I think Johnny might be joining us now. A couple of handshakes with friends and family on the way through. Sorry, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Let him have his moment first. <laughs> then he's going to come and join us. If you'd have lost, Ryan, and you've had me and Brandon going, you fancy you coming on the commentary for a bit? Um, depends how I've lost, to be you'd honest. you lost heavily. Then, yeah. You kind of, you kind of just you, you, by the second leg, you're already, yeah, you're already, lost. yeah, you're detached from it. If it's like a last minute one, you kind of want space on your own. Here he is, e Champions League finalist, joining us live now. Can't wait to see this. You sit next to each other. I've moved up. I've given a lot of room. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congrats. Have a seat. Try and. Side. It's okay. <laughs> you know what? I've not done bad there. <laughs> Johnny. Yes. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Very e Champions much. League. How does it feel? You've uh, you've achieved one of the tasks for this weekend. You've still got obviously a few more to do, but to be in that competition, you must feel relieved. Yes, I'm very confident for tomorrow. But I play with Umut. It's a very tough game. But uh, yes, I'm very happy because I have the e Champions League and tomorrow maybe World Cup. Well, didn't you play him last year, Umit? You knocked out Umit from the virtual Bundesliga. Yes. Tomorrow, you're playing for a world championship spot. I mean, it's a very different game to last year, isn't it? There's a lot more pressure on it. Yes, of course, but I think I'm um, very good. And um, yes, Umut is a world-class player, but, but it's a 50-50 game. And yes, I'm, but I'm very confident for tomorrow. And um, I lost no game, but yeah, I'm very confident. I've asked all the other players the same question. Six minute best of two or a nine minute best of one? What do you six prefer? Minute best of two. Six minute yeah, best of two. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I think it's just we're used to it. We played over the years, obviously, this year. Nine minute half's new to the, yeah. the format. I feel as if the concentra concentration, sorry, for nine minutes, Mo Alba spoke about it, almost 20 minutes full time, you have to just be concentrating. It's difficult to keep up. Yes, of course. As well, best of two is. Uh, it's a lot of better but because nine minutes is um, in best of two, the better player wins mostly. But uh, nine minutes is, 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 is random. Yeah. This is, yes. The, uh, the virtual Bundesliga, the last two years, this year and last year, you performed very well in. Does it give you a lot of confidence playing well in this tournament for the rest of the season? Last year, you obviously had the, the Saudi Arabia Championships, the World Cup. This year, you've got a lot to look forward to, your Champions League, and maybe even further if you continue to the grand final. Does it give you confidence playing well here for the rest of the season? Yes, of course, but uh, Germany, I think it's the best league. So I'm in the top four, maybe more uh, tomorrow in the top two. And I'm very confident for the e Champions League. I'm called, and um, yes, tomorrow, I hope so, World Cup. And what was it like winning the club championship this year? Because obviously RB Leipzig were, uh, were very strong favourites in that competition. It's safe to say that Umit and Anders weren't the best of pleas in it. It was a crazy final a couple of weeks by now. How was that? I think we, we are the underdogs in the game. But um, in FIFA, yeah, FC, um, yes, it's, it's all, all can happen in a game. And uh, it was a bit of lucky, a chaser against Umut. 2-1, uh, Umut... Uh, normally win this game, but the the luck was of uh, my side, which was our tail side, and I'm yes, I'm very happy. So tomorrow, I hope so, Dubai. What, what do you think to playing with the Bundesliga items? Because I think we're watching um, not a lot of skills in the yeah. final third. Um, maybe a few better better players would have maybe a few better icons potentially as well. How is it adjusting to your normal team to this Bundesliga requirements? Yes, of course. With a nine in a, on a striker, it's, it's very, very easy to to uh, score goals. Big to five five. Here, yes, for Openda with uh, five skills or five weak foot, it's it's very hard to score with him. But yeah, I think so. It's in other leagues, it's so Serie A, E League A. So you have Mbappé, you have Ginola, you have Anoy, and here you have Schweinsteiger <laughs> and uh, Openda. Do you think you'd have aerial plus if you were in the game? Yes. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, yes. um, we're going to have a bit of fun. Okay. Ryan, feel free to ask yeah. the question. Go on. Uh, I'll let you go. go we're going to look at your team. Yeah. And we want you to talk us through it in terms of the... Uh, we're going to quickly jump over to the laptop. This team here on the right is the team that Johnny has built for us. I mean, take us through it. I mean, the first question is goalkeeper. 
Was it always Zentner? Yes, of course. Everybody uh, plays Zentner because he's, uh, he's very uh, big and uh, for me he's the best goalkeeper. But uh, I played uh, before, I played Radetzky, but he's not so good as Zentner, but Zentner is for me the best goalkeeper for the Bundesliga. What about the choice of, of not having Lucio? In there. You watched with someone else there. What was the thought process? I think uh, Kola and it's cleaner in the in the defense uh, in the tackles. Um, Lucio have many burnouts, okay. and uh, Kola a very clean EFO, and um, yeah, I think it's the best EFO. Yeah. Talk to us about Howard because he's the one that's scoring yeah, all area, the goals. Area plus, yeah, area plus is the best place there. So you can uh, corner all square you can use everything and and you score I with the header it's so easy to score goals with them and the icon selection you've not got the, the biggest deal of icons yeah. to choose from is it just is it always Schweinsteiger for you yes of course because five weak foot I played the long boards of uh, on Gosens uh, my LV and it's very easy to play a long boards with Kimmich and Schweinsteiger because um, both of them have the long ball trade and it's very easy to play long boards with them and probably the MVP in the team, Frimpong. Does he, yes, ever, of does he ever come in the midfield for you? Or? No, 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 no. Because Kimmich and Schweinsteiger have the long ball trade, yeah. and when um, I play, also when the left have the ball and he plays on Kimmich or Schweinsteiger, um, you can a uh, long ball to Gosens. But with Frimpong, it's it's very difficult to play on Gosens because he has not the long ball trade. But um, and yes, Frimpong is the best air for for me. Before we let you go and get ready for the um, big semi-final, watch the other quarter-finals, I've got two questions. Who is the best player other than you left in the tournament? Who's your biggest competition? I think Anders. Anders? Anders, yes. And if you just take the camera back to us on full screen, Brandon, who looks the best? Who's dressed the best? Out of us three. Oh, we're doing this again. Who's That's dressed the so best? So difficult. But I say Brent. Oh, yes. he's paid him off, Rich. <laughs> can we just? Can we? Right, we're one, this one, is going to be lost. so. This is going to be so pointless. But if you just stand up a second, Johnny. He's off the camera. Off the camera. His elbow <laughs> is at my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, he, he's the tallest man uh, in yes, this uh, FC Pro scene. Johnny, congratulations, my friend. You're Thank in the you. Champions League. Well played, well You'll be back tomorrow for Good the final for four in the virtual Bundesliga. Thanks for your time, my friend. Um, <laughs> Richard just likes losing. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get... I had a, I had a little feeling he's going to give you the vote there. The pity vote, you know, the ones... Eh, might as well let him off have one. He'll have one. See you soon. There he is, he's in the final four. He looks dangerous at the moment, doesn't he? He does. Probably like one of the best players here in Germany. Hasn't lost a single game here in the, in the virtual Bundesliga. Look, if we can have a look at our bracket quickly and we might head to a, maybe a quick break shortly too let's go look at the bracket first and foremost um let's have a look at the bottom half of the bracket if we can or the fixtures we've got coming up because anders vergang is still in action i mean this is one of the uh one of the main feature matchups we're going to be looking towards the two rb leipzig players going head to head levy finn against anders vergang and the heads clearly on this sofa look I know he's my teammate but if I've, I've, it doesn't matter who's in my way i've, I've got any champions league ticket to play for yeah <laughs> Just looking at Levy Finn's results, obviously he's played a, a various amounts of different opponents. It's not necessarily just up against the level of Anders, but eight wins, one draw, one loss. It just shows the level of competition this virtual Bundesliga has. Anders hasn't been perfect in this tournament. He's suffered defeat, and I think that's a good thing because he's had his bad games. I'd argue it's the worst we've seen Anders this year. Yet, it's the confidence. He's, it's the most confident he seems. The most, but he's still, it's, he's he's, he's that still good. Winning. His his floor is higher than a lot of players' ceilings. That's yeah. how good he is. When when he plays bad, it's still good, and that just that just shows how good he is. Let's have a look at this bracket and see what we've got to come up uh, after the break because we've got two matches remaining for today. As you can see, Mark uh, and Lucas in the quarterfinals, big game, and then also Levy Finn and RB Leipzig. Vergang and RB Leipzig, Levy Finn. It's a RB Leipzig derby. Yep. 
That's a big one, isn't it? Well, we're going to go to a quick break here from Cologne for the Virtual Bullets League. A lot of people saying about where we are. We are in Cologne. This event is taking place tomorrow as well. I'm not sure if you can still get tickets, but if you live nearby, I'm sure head to the Virtual Bullets League website. You can find out a little bit more. We're going to go for a quick break. We're going to go to our beauty cam, which looks over the fantastic arena here in Cologne. We'll be back in a few minutes' time. Anders Vergang against Levy Finney's the blockbuster matchup. Only one of those two players will be going to the Champions League. We'll see you in a few minutes.
Welcome back to the Virtual Bundesliga 2024, the VBL Finals. You're joining us live from the beautiful host city of Cologne, where we've got two matches remaining for today. That is where we stand currently in the bracket. Johnny just beat Henning six goals to two, and RB Leipzig Umitz beating Feldman from Dortmund seven two.
Aidan Oliver underscore seven. When Vergang playing, I can tell you Vergang is right around the corner. He's taking on Levy Fiend in an all RB Leipzig derby. And the final game from the quarterfinals that you want to keep your eyes and ears peeled to is Mark versus Lucas. They're the stats so far separating these two. Yeah, absolutely. As we said, look, both of these two players have had very different records in the bracket so far. I mean, Lucas just got through this game by a penalty shootout in his round of 16. So he did very well to find himself in this quarterfinal match. Uh, Mark LDW, Ryan, you've been screaming how good he's good, how good he's been, sorry, in the Swiss rounds. Yep. He's been impressive, but he had a really tough game, didn't he, in his last match. Up just about scraped through, I think, what, 8-7, I think it was in the end? Yeah, it was a tight game. He, he was down by a few, then he, he took the lead again, then went down by a few again, and then reversed the, the scoreline to advance into the quarterfinals. But it's a must-win game for both of these players. They need to, to get that win for the qualification to the E-Champions League, which I'm sure all these players will be looking towards. Well, as we said, Anders Vergang has already got the FC Pro World Championship spot from his FC Pro Open performance. But a win for him here would say, as he said, the E-Champions League would be so, so impressive for him. But Levy Finn, look at the stats on that. Eight wins, one draw, and of course, one defeat. His, uh, his points per game and his win ratio is flawless. Anders scoring more goals, but also conceding more. Uh, Levy Finn better at the back, but not registering more shots or goals on target. However, he has been pretty special, pretty outstanding throughout this tournament so far. Will it continue? We're going to find out. Uh, I was actually looking behind me to see if uh, Coach Daniel, who's obviously with RB Leipzig, would be on the stage coaching. Um, I think I saw him going up there onto the stage. Um, yeah, with Anders. There. Yes, he is. Yeah, behind Anders. So he's going to be behind Anders. Um, read into that what you will. But the matches are right around the corner. Let us know in the chat as well. Do we do a little poll? If we can get a poll Let's going. Do a poll. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? Levy Finn or Anders Vergang? It's an all RB Leipzig game. We'll give probably, our predictions. You could probably argue. I think it's going to be his toughest test yet. I know Same. he's had some really tough games and he has lost yeah. a few of them, but I yeah. think... Predictions for us? Got to say something. I'll say Levy, you can... I'm actually going to agree with you, you know. Do you think? Yeah. I'm Anders. I'm an Anders fanboy. I think I want him to win, but I, I think Levy... The, share the couch with him. <laughs> yeah, I think Levy's unbelievable. I think it, it goes under the radar how good he is and... I just think with the way Anders has been playing this weekend, if she plays anything like that, I think I think Levy beats him. I don't know if we can just go on the uh, the stage shot quickly, if possible. I've got a feeling that I think Levy Finn is being coached by Antonio Adeo, who was the champion last year. He's not playing in the competition, but I've got a feeling that is him just sitting next to Levy Finn there on the sort of the right hand side of the middle pod on the screen there. Look, not playing the this gray, year. In the but gray jumper. Yeah. Interesting that he's obviously not competing this year after winning with Frank for last year. It was a bit of a shock result it was. Obviously he did enough to qualify himself for those playoffs. Um, there's a poll live right now. Let us know. One for Levy, two for Anders in the chat. Let's see how this poll comes out. As we said, our last two quarterfinal games here. Live from Cologne. Then we're back again tomorrow for our semi-finals and our grand final here from Cologne. One player is going to be champion here in Germany and two are going to add themselves on to that 32-player list something heading to those all-important FC Pro World Championships. Something as well we've not really spoke about today, the prize money on the line. Because if you win this tournament, you're taking on 40,000. Second place is 20K. Both of those spots will get FC Pro World Championships. Yep. Third, fourth, you win this game, 7.5 thousand plus E Champions League spot. So a lot on the line, a lot to play for, and we're not wasting any more time. The games are right around the corner. Anders is winning by a landslide with 87% of the vote. And let's see if the fans at home are correct on this occasion. Big game feel. A uh, few settings just been adjusted for Anders and Levy Finn. So we'll kick off in this big match up here with Lucas and Mark. Well, it will be FC Hansa Rostock, who has been a bit of a talent factory in the last couple of years in Germany. Kicking from right to left, as we spoke about earlier, Lucas did qualify for the FC Pro Open, one of the 20 players that 
played across the winter months. It was our first sort of kickoff event for the FC Pro season. Didn't have the best of runs there, but it's still about the experience of playing against one of the best players in the world. Took that form and experience into this competition here, where, as we said, he's one win away from an E Champions League date in London for the first stage of the tournament. Here's a pender, it's Lucio off the line, and it still could be alive. And in the end, it's just cleared away by Schweinsteiger. I think we'll jump games after this attack comes in. Still, he's alive. Free Pong now playing that central midfield role that we teased. Alongside Schweinsteiger, oh, goes Lucas going to be able to get a shot away here. Pender will, oh. great save again. Still, keep it alive only for Solo. Let's jump across if we can to the All-RB Leipzig game. They've already got one player in the Champions League, and Umit, in case you just missed it. Umit and Johnny taking the first two spots from Germany for the Champions League, and it's going to be one of these two joining him. You should say it's Levy in possession now from left to right with this chance. Nice step over exit finds Jensen. The extra pass, couldn't get it through to the player that he was looking for in the box. I think we spoke to Moaba earlier and he spoke about how if you want to defeat Anders, you need to put that sort of fear factor in Anders himself. You need to start off well, show him that you have the, the ability to score goals and defend well. And for Levy, definitely needs to do that. Tanks does ridiculously nice. well there, just offside. Feel like a real big game. Just wondering when you look at the uh, the aerial threat as well of a couple of those attackers. I think Mamouche, Harler. Great ball. Big chance. Ooh, wow. The keeper was all the way in the back of the net. Keeper movement from before the extra pass was even played, and then surprised he didn't green it. I, to be honest, I'm just surprised it hasn't even hit the target. You see the keeper in the back of the net, you press the shoot button, you think it should be a yep, goal. Yeah. Just gives uh, Levy Finn a bit of data, though, as well. And as he's going to move the keeper early, he's going to do, be quite aggressive with that mechanic. Counter attack. Sorry, He's screen. flown out with the lit there at the back. An ongoing runner there, Jensen. He's at the better of the two players at the moment. Has Levy Finn in these areas. Marmouche. Still building, lofted it in into the aerial frets. And Matias Delet, as you said. No problems at all for one of those two Bayern Munich picks. As we said, we are playing Bundesliga. Score restrictions here at the VBL finals. A maximum of two players per club from the Bundesliga first and second division. And we've had a breakthrough. Speak about a team on form at the moment in the real world. They are covering that form over on the virtual pitch as well. It's Sean LD. I was going to say Sean LDW. Mark LDW. His teammate. Oh, it's Travella. Travella in from the edge of the box. Throwback. Thank you very much indeed. Still viable. If you don't move the keeper, it's still viable. Just less success rate. Yep. Schweinsteiger. Got an attacking corner for Anders. It's gone straight into Zentner's hands. Don't worry about me, stay on this game. We won't stand there for too long, but we've always got this one as well, haven't we? We didn't get to give our prediction as well for, for this matchup. I think, I think it's rude not to. I know Richard and Brandon, you, you're going to go for the, the player that's winning. I actually think Lucas, from the experiences he's had this year, I think surely he'd be favourite on paper just from the, the FC Pro experience. I'm going to take Lucas as well. I reckon Mark. I'll <laughs> see if you've got one way, I'll go the other. <laughs> Ted back on board with Anders. Which is attack chat, down the right hand side. Let's see where we said he misses Travellers. I actually do as well. I feel as if it adds the fear factor defending on the edge of the box. So you can't really sit deep. You have to press high up. And oh, there's a pender red time finish. It's a question if it was time green, would it have been a slightly different outcome? Witness a corner and doesn't do much with it. 
You also probably missed low driven shots though, Ryan. This is that for about six years <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, he's in. Chance to break. Jensen, can he get around the goalkeeper? Yes, he. Oh, oh he did, but goodness. he hit the post. Did everything right with Jensen. It's a really good opportunity. And again, just not quite getting his look. That ball, perfect ball, wrong perfect there? run. The only thing you can say that he's done wrong is not green time it. So oh, it's the difference of, an of animations there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's not gone in. Chance he again. No, he's not. Just offside. 40 minutes played here again. Two legged games. Tom in the chat saying Anders is lucky right now. Should be 2 0 down. I agree. I feel as if. As we say, Levy started so much better, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, completely. He's been in the ascendancy here. You can see the triggered run as we go over to our other game. Last attack of this half. It's going to be Lucas in on goal. Goosens all the way from left back. Ooh, I don't think he knew what he wanted to do. Yeah. In those moments, you have to be decisive. Make your mind up straight away. And say what it was, Ryan. Indecisive. That, exactly that. I think he should have ran by the goalkeeper or something. <laughs> <laughs> Best chance we've seen so far, though. Heavy uh, tornadoes. Tornado flick. <laughs> the El Tornado. The El Tornado. Oh, that is a throwback. <laughs> Marmouche. I sometimes pull out the Balassi flick. Just remember that I can do it. <laughs> Any time of one minute played. I mean, look, the best chance we've seen from Anders Vergang is that one shot that was time red in his first 45 minutes. Other than that, it really has been all Levy Fid, and we've been saying Levy Fid is going to be that challenge match for him. Yeah, it's, it's always going to be a tough game playing against any player, let alone your teammate. Just had experiences playing in, in friendly matches plenty of times, but as we said, Levy, for me, has had two clear chances where you'd expect him to score both. But can those chances come back to room? We saw earlier on Rory Feldman against Umut had similar situations in front of goal and was, was relatively unlucky. And then Umut made him pay. To see Mav the Menace there in the chat. At least with SCN you get pace and defensive stats, if not the height. Not sure if you type that in a different conversation. <laughs> Unfortunately, SCN has not been viable. The old tornado remind Ryan of his comeback that year during Swiss. Yeah, good times. It was against a German player as well, to be fair. Who was it? I feel bad naming him. Should I feel bad? Is it? Nah, it's Black Arrow. Oh, yeah. Years ago. It was a good game as well in Amsterdam, wasn't it, against the Nusa? <laughs> 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 Don't think El Tornado's were in that one. No, that wasn't unfortunate. Then got Locante, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh. Robbery. <laughs> That's when he was scoring from quite some distance. Just offside. One goal to nil still in this one. Mark leading by a goal still off that, the back of that Travello. It's the only goal we've seen so far. Which is crazy to say because there are other core finals. We had what? Seven, two, oh six, gosh. twos. Breakaway again. It's another it's chance for Levy Finn. Is he going to make the most of it this time though? It's He's not the thinking himself now. Yeah, it's the triggered runs though from Levy. He's going a lot of attacks just from, from triggering. And this is like responding late to, to following the runs. Been an entertaining chat today, isn't it? If laughter is the best medicine, this chat is the pharmacy. Alejandro, I've seen a few jokes from you throughout the chat, and that is <laughs> your top one so far. Goosen's Anders Vergen looking to create potentially a second real chance in a goal. He's not been able to create too much. The reverse Elastico still in possession. Oh. No. Very aggressive outside the boot finish that just goes over the bar. It's lucky. The, the chance that the fact that it materialized uh, into a shot there fell back to him just a bit too much power yeah i thought both players should have scored in this game now you say goosens really well brandon is there any in-game names that you really enjoy saying goosens now in possession back post Bobby. surely off oh, the post oh my goodness any players names that i really enjoy saying 
Can't really say there is there is a top one. I went through a spell. Obviously, I lived in Manchester for a few years, and uh, I got into a, a, a habit of saying Messi, Messi. And I did it probably for about a year and a half until someone pulled me up on it. Oh, that's great. She can't score. Still, Swine oh, could have played oh, he did it. it didn't need it. Didn't need the ball roll there. Could have played it directly into the striker. Lucas offside. Falcons, Mike, that's great to hear, my friends. Just won 6 0 versus legendary AI. <laughs> I Got use France versus England it's better than in I a could kickoff. Do. That is something I have never done before. Every day, improving, you will be the pro that you aspire to be one day, my friends. Anders needs to step it up. Should be losing this game. He really should be. Been able to play at all. It's been the the most interesting game I think I've watched about his Verge game, where he's just not been allowed to have the ball to do anything. Levy's done really well at shutting him down, but he's also held possession for like pretty long periods of this game. And I think it's frustrating Anders because when Anders is coming forward, he's, he's just rushing, rushing ever so slightly. Looking on the far side of your screen, Frimpong might fancy a big. Little ping there, dispossessed. Goosens comes away again. But there's only so long as well, which we must talk about. The Anders Vergang's not going to be playing at his best. And if you're not taking your chances, Ryan, he's going to come Big back chance. and yeah, gonna cause all be. sorts of problems. Oh, too much power. Do you look for a head down? Across the box, I'm not sure. I need to see. I don't think there was a lot of options. There's quite a few defenders in the box. You're not on an angle to shoot, though, either. Yeah. Now jumping across the game. Still nil-nil in the all-RB Leipzig game. Question for you there, Brandon, in the chat. In the Champions League, so that's what this match has got huge implications on. The Champions League, it's all in May. I think it's the, the 11th and the 12th of May is the first big weekend where you'll see obviously all the players that have qualified through different league partners then it gets whittled down to a knockout stage I think just a week after that and then back on the 29th of May just a few days before the actual Champions League final Ooh. is when the Champions League final will be played out of course it's a standalone competition with its own prestigious trophy as we know huge cash opportunity as well absolutely We appreciate the kind words, John. He kicked me for over there. Here's a big chance. Is Levy finally going to get his breakthrough? He's been waiting oh, all the time for. Oh yes, God, he is. Keeper did not come for it. Never mind. Two goals in the space of a second. We've had the entire second half where we've had missed chance after missed chance after missed chance. We've just seen two goals in both individual matches in the 85th minute onwards that goal right there i thought the keep i was i said what the is the keeper got it. doing oh Lord. he bottled it normally naturally the ai would just pick it up just thank you very it. much yeah and the, the you know the, the, the striker they wouldn't have a chance that wasn't the only goal that's got him <laughs> he, he's not celebrating because of big levy fin fan <laughs> <laughs> He's celebrating because someone just said, Ryan got news who Arsenal won nil. This was 2-0 uh, here. Let's have a look at this goal. Again, down the byline, Coleman. It's a great finish from the Two goals from outside the box as well. Oh though. Hold on. He's going to have to put in. There's been a goal back. Blinking, you miss it, because Anders Vergang has just found an equaliser. Straight from kickoff. Anders needed that, to be honest. Against the run of play. I don't think he's... He played poorly first he's, I don't think he's deserved it by any means. Far from it, but this is the replay. Quick, snappy passing, not green time, into the top corner. And it's a good finish. It's, it's a great finish. Levy will be upset with that one for sure. Huge celebrations again. We're going to go into our other game, and it's... Any time. It's There's been a goal in any time minute. over there. And it's Kingsley Coman that's found a third 
for Bayer Leverkusen. Wow. We just see the tap in there. It must have been some nice build-up play to create that opportunity, but the last kick of the game, two goals in six minutes. Let's have a look at the build-up. It was Goosen's out wide into full Space rook. opened up. Mamouche. Nice little player lock, fake, created the space in the centre of the box, and look at that celebration as well. He was off on his feet. 3-0 final score. Both games have finished for the first leg. 1-1 one, one between the two RB Leipzig players, Levy Finn and Anders Vergang, and 3-0 Mark leading versus Lucas. My prediction is in the bin. So I said Lucas was going to win. I can make a rhyme any time. <laughs> yes. Over to you, Pessoa. I said Mark could win, so apparently I'm, I'm completely lying by the way. I thought he'd pick up on it, he didn't. But well, yeah. while we've got a break in play, let's have a look at Anders Vergang's team that he is using in the virtual Bundesliga. This is his draft on the right-hand side of the screen. I mean, we can run a poll at the same time of this as well. What icon would you be using if you were playing in this tournament? Obviously, Loth Matthias, Lahm or Schweinsteiger, really sort of the only... Main options. How many people can we put on the poll? You are looking at, I, f I think four, I'm guessing, Max. Who's the fourth? Well, we'll get all seven in. <laughs> all seven <laughs> yeah, in. Right. All seven in. If we could put the three in, Lofa Matthias, Lahm or Schweinsteiger, who would be the icon you'd be drafting? One Matthias, two Lahm, three Schweinsteiger, in that order. If you want to use Matthias, that is, you put a one in the chat. If you want to use... Lam, you put a two in the chat, and if you want to use Schweinsteiger, bless you, you put Thank a you. three in the chat. Yeah. Um, I think there's going to be an official poll as well coming in, so wait for the official poll and uh, to place your votes. But that is the team that it's only because he's using. most of the players, as we know in this tournament, have been using. We've got two different ones next to each other as but well. We do, yeah. Lam on the left, Mafias on the right. Matthias obviously being the only player that Anders Vergen's been using. But this is his draft, as we said. His wow. hero pick is Lucio. I think a lot of people may have just been thinking, whatever Anders is using, let's, let's, <laughs> let's use that as well. Oh, they forgot the options and just set one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty solid draft overall. That's his team complete. If you want to see someone else's drafted team no, here Fringpong. in the virtual Bundesliga. For his opponent in that game as well, quite interestingly. Fringpong, I thought, would be a guarantee in every game, but Nicholas Rank not using him there. and There's been a few people who's not used Fringpong, Ryan. Yeah, there's a few in it. I honestly... I don't understand why. I thought he'd be a lock in the squads, of course. I get it in the sense he's small for the back post crosses and he's going to offer no support. Best right back on the game, arguably. Best right back available. Uh, mm, it's just the height. You have to defend the back post crosses. But then again, you could say offensively. Not many people are even conceding back post, though. True, many the middle of the box. Yeah, that's a very good point. But I, I think, obviously, it depends. But we'll take a look at the highlights from that, that first round. So he started off with the Travella green time from Mark against Lucas. That was the first goal in that game. And this was a chance for Anders against a run of play over the bar against Levy Finn. And he wasn't done there, was he? Because look, you've got to remember, there's five minutes left in this game and then two goals just wow, came from nowhere. Finish. That was his second out the box goal. This was the equaliser that Anders Vergan got back against Levy Finn after just conceding. Surprise that's gone in. I'll be honest, this was the final goal in injury time. You can see the mistake there. I can just see him. He's trying to play. He's using L1 to he's play. Switch, players all and over he's the trying place. to get to the right centre back, but yes. it's, just, it's all over the place. All over the place. And worst time to concede as well, especially just after get, conceding the second goal. If you can go into the second leg, two goals down, you're still in it. Three goals down, obviously you're still in it, but it's just that extra goal, as it goes without saying, it makes it a lot harder, though. It's just the mentality shift. Well, for Anders Vergam, we can all agree here. I don't know what happened in that first leg, but he needs to I think turn it around. He did He did very well as well to get out of that at a 1 1 scoreline. I think if you're Levy Finn, you were annoyed that you've not won that game. 100%. Because not only have you played well, but you've, you've realised that Anders has played poorly. And you haven't won. And you've not got anything out of it. You've got to think now Anders will improve, Anders will play better, and probably get something positive out of this game. Yeah. Uh, if someone put into the, the Twitch chat. Not if it's got up right now. How has he got Anders's, anything out of yeah, it? How he's got anything out of it? And another one was about Anders' pressing. It's like, irrespective of how bad Anders we think he's been playing, his pressing is always good enough to stop the the chances from Levy Finn in that game. And if we're being honest, I just don't think he's deserved 
much, if not anything at all, in, in, from that first leg. Well then, here we go. Last match from day two of this virtual Bundesliga. And then tomorrow there'll just be four clubs and four players left. Battling out to become champion of all those FC Pro World Championship tickets. There's the fleet down, back to a pend up. <laughs> Schweinsteiger, a pend up, it's four. Keeper. I think with that goal, it probably gives us... Yeah, yeah. It's teammate. It gives an opportunity to move on over. 4 0, it's probably going to be game done. Let's go to the main game, let's go to the highlight match, let's go to the one with everything still riding on it. It's 1 1 currently between Anders Vergang and Levy Fit. Anders in white um, from right to left. Have you got a brown blazer for tomorrow, Rich? I don't know. But got a bit of time in the morning, don't you go for shopping? <laughs> Lends him something a bit more. Than... Chance, a pendant. Good tackle. Were you not wearing brown this weekend? Just gone? Last two days? I wore it today, luckily. I, uh... <laughs> I went against the chair colour. Mom on the score here, she said. Loser. Out of the tournament, end of their season in Leicester Anders, who has got, still got that world. Championship spot for Levy Finn. Eight games he's won throughout this tournament so far. Really convincing Swiss stage. Great dribbling. Jason Goretzka oh. offside. He's Leon Goretzka. Um. Look at an answer elsewhere. I was going to ask Mark LDW, Sean LDW, is there a relation? Well, I was thinking, I don't think it's, it's not the abbreviation of... I don't think it's, it's not Leverkusen, is it? <laughs> What's going on in the other game? Another goal has gone in. You can probably guess which way it's gone. Mark leads now by five goals to nil in aggregate. And it's Leon Goretzka. Making it five from that corner there. Right place, right time at the back post. The uh, brothers. I don't know if I trust Gary Kidd. <laughs> I'm not sure they might be. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. You think that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm not sure. Lucas can't get back. Let's jump back, back across if we can. There's a big chance. Ooh, massive Saved. chance. Right, let's. We've not done this today. We're about to lock in. Big game. <laughs> <laughs> Great save at the near pole. Zedner forcing the save. Four hours too late. <laughs> Corner whipped in. Get it up. Good save once again from Zedner. Third time lucky for the corner. up the chance in the box. This is Levy Finn still. Patient as ever. And there's really having to team to defend this. Gretzka Schweinsteiger punched it in. Nasty Nala. A chance to break away again now for Anders Vergang. As we said, only had literally two shots in that whole first leg. It's rushing. Yeah. So apparently they're cousins. I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. uh. Just needs to get his foot on the ball a little bit. Anders, he's the way that he's been going forward. You can just, I think you said he's rushing. He's he's playing too quick for his own good almost. But also, Levy Finn's defending really well. Yeah, this is the least dangerous I've ever. Seen Anders. There's no no Ever. danger whatsoever. Zero. And the chances he has got were from bounces back that were, were very fortunate. I was just sending us back. I made these exercises there, look. 
There is a goal back in that game. There is still time. But there's oh, going to be a goal in this one, surely, in a second. Let me fin! Wow. Luckily, I did switch back. Sebastian Haller makes it two goals to one, and he's back in front again, and you just can't argue against it. It's been coming. Great goal. Deserved goal from Levy Finn. It was coming, as you said, Brandon. He's been pressing and probing at the defence of Anders, and it's a matter of time before he gets the goal. It's a simple finish, two yards out, tap in. It's nothing short of deserved from Levy, and Anders now needs to lock in. Can you get a quick response from kickoff, Richard? Is he Champions League opportunity in his spot? Lines in his own hands, that switch of play poor from Anders to get the restart, giving the ball straight back to Levy Finn and giving him the opportunity to potentially play out for last chance of the half, six minute half. She could do that, or he could try and look to go forward. This could be a third. Jensen, direct. Cuts it back, 3-1. Wow. And slowly but surely, oh, oh. the chances of an E-Champions League ticket are falling by the wayside for Anders Vergang. He might still be in the FC Pro World Championship, but he just simply has not got going in this second leg of the game. It's almost a repeat of the second goal, the first goal in this game. He's cut through him, he's passed into the area of uncertainty just underneath his own crossbar. And it's all come from Anders That's giving the ball away yeah, on the just switch. just there as well, direct down towards the byline. Anders sort of anticipated a cutback, moved the defender out of the way, and it just gave an easy pass across the goal there for Levy. Cool, so another game. 5-1 still. A lot of space for Levy. Mark is leading that one. We're about to stay with this one still to find out. If we are heading, heading into half-time with 3-1. Gap. It's a two-goal cushion. You're going to look for the exact same sort of goal again now. Down the byline again. Post. He's looking for the cutback. Little dink across. He's going to three, three. He might get it. Oh, my goodness. That should be a goal. Everything to do for Anders Vergang. You just see the scenes here. Frustration. Clearly angry. I think he's angry at his own performance. Yeah. So he's not played well at all in this game. It's been... We say below, it, it's been the worst I've ever seen. Andy. I don't know what to put it down to, but you see me having a look over my shoulder there. That's a good big goal back, actually. What's that now? Five, five two. Five two. On Three aggregate. Goals in the second half. We'll see how it goes. I'm just going to keep on looking over my shoulder because I can see onto the stage from our elevated position here. King is asking a question. Does this mean we won't see Anders in the E Champions League if he yes. doesn't win this game? That answer is yes. This is a game for the qualification in the E-Champions League. Loser is eliminated from the virtual Bundesliga. I just the seen winner the stats. Gets the Can we just have a quick look at those stats there on uh, on, on game two? Because it's quite fascinating. 71% oh possession against Anders. Six shots to Six one. Six shots. He dominated the game. So far. Dominated. You just don't do that, do you? No one really does that against Anders Vergang, unless you let me thin. Six shots to the one. He's constantly created, and there has been changes made at the stroke of half time there. And Anders Vergang looks to turn this second half around. If anyone can, it is him. However, he's shown us, this is crazy to say, I don't think I've ever said this about him before, he's shown us nothing in the first half. Can that change now? Defended well by Lucio. Wins it back for Impong, who see he's pulled across his central midfielder. We are at half time in the other game. 2 2 5 2 on aggregate. Still a three goal cushion, four by Leverkusen's mark in that game. Marmouche. And as you can see, a bit more urgency from him. For all the people who's already made the Champions League, there will be. No disrespect whatsoever to Levy Finn. They'll be cheering on him to win this game. Because with Anders not in the Champions League, it boosts everyone else's chance of winning it ever so slightly up. The 
upender. That's, That's a great ball. Can he make the most of this one? He red time to finish. He gets a very fortunate bounce back, but still, I'm not even sure that one was red timed. Back post, maybe. Doesn't really cross, no. does he? That's elastico. Can he, he get? He was going into a cul de sac. There was no space for him. Good pressing, though. Great pressing. God, doesn't know enough to keep it in. Better, though, isn't it? Two big blocks there from Lucio. You can see frustration building for him. His time is running out. 31 minutes left. Uh, this is what you get as well when six minute halves. You don't get a lot of time. Oh. And if Levy finds a third, you might be in even more trouble. Not like that. I actually think there's probably another goal here for Levy Same. as well. He just looks a lot more composed in the final third. Not rushing, taking his time, waiting for that perfect pass or the opportunity to open something up. No rush at all, is it? Build up. I'd love to see a passing count on screen for this. He has had so oh, many passes. Sebastian Harla round the corner. Still possession oh, and still so composed. That would have been brilliant. Deserved the goal, Ryan. He did. I thought, ugh, did he do a little bit too much? Got around the keeper. I thought he was going to shoot. Maybe it would have been blocked. I don't know. It's, it's a tough one, but 20 minutes. Anders is, for me, Levy's been superb this game. Deservedly in the lead, and, and Anders needs to respond quickly. This is his moment now. It has to. One more pass. Marco Royce, Great what tackle. a tackle. He timed Great it tackle. green. See the lit just chasing back across there to do enough. I think you can tell as well that he's not really backing himself because the goal he scored in the first leg with Fallerbrook, he just took the shot. Yeah. He could have just taken a shot there. If he greens it across the keeper, maybe gets a rebound, maybe even goes in. But he wanted to solidify it. He wanted to simplify it, get Royce involved. And it just wasn't, wasn't there. Another wave of pressure now. Coming the way of Levy Finn. Can he survive another Anders Vergang attack as he has throughout this game so far? Oh, he tried to. Tried to get it across there. That's a goal before the 80th minute. Comes a really intense last 10 minutes. Poor touch there from Levy Finn. The space. And we'll jump back across here where we could potentially see a concluding goal. Now Great. it's perfect timing. Mark finds another six goals to two in aggregate. And I think we can say congratulations to him. A new player qualifying for his first E-Champions League. And he will be in the best four tomorrow for a chance to become one of those other new names popping out from the German scene. Just having a look at you can see both of the, uh, the the screens there. Changes being made, maybe a couple of new personnel, new players being brought on for both Anders and Levy. Looking at a 4 2 4 for Anders there, who is throwing everything at it, as you can imagine. We are getting back underway. Let's go back on that game. It's the main game. Well, Levy. Oh, he tried to just get blocked. Awesome. See a great POV there, both players. Teammates against each other, unfortunately, in the biggest game of the tournament today. Goretzka. Dispossessed still. Mateus. 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 Oh. off target. Wow. He's got to go in. The and thing that's is. your though. icon that's not in on target, you're asking a lot. The thing is, those chances there with the, the it's bouncing back to him. If you that's the only way he's creating chances. Yeah, get that, that is it. fortunate bounce. Yeah, the bounce, like the lucky bounce back. That's it. it. Could be game over if he's just throwing so many bodies forward now, hasn't he? He has to. He has to go all out attack, constant press. Look at the space. Levy Finn still could be there on the edge. Just about defending. Oh, seven minutes. He doesn't need to score again. He's got a two-goal cushion, but if he does, 
It was certainly to defy the result here. The thing is, we saw Anders earlier, 116th minute in extra time, losing by two, and he brought it back. He doesn't even look like he doesn't. This having a shot on target. Never just, mind scoring. You never know, but with Levy, the way he's been defending, I can't see how he gets gets a goal, as you said, let alone two. It's a very different player, wasn't it, on the opposite side of the stage. He was very Disciplined. clever here as well. Doesn't need to score again, taking more seconds out of the game to make it mathematically impossible. For Anders Vergang to make a top four in this tournament, to make the Champions League this year after such a good performance last year in Istanbul. Make it to the happen. final stages. He's not going to be there this year. He might be at the world final still, but he won't be amongst well, his best players in Europe at the Champions League. There's a penalty here. It won't mean too much, unfortunately. Seven through an aggregate. He scored. He scored. Anders just scored. It's 90 it's, plus it's, one, though. Nah, and it's yeah. over. Unfortunately, he will not be in the Champions League. He's not happy about it either. It will be his teammate, or I should say teammates, that are going there instead. Levy, Finn and Umit. They are 91 minutes, 16 seconds. Plus one at a time. And only one at a minute, no, yeah. No way there's enough time. If, you know, Levy Finn completely deserved it. it. Completely deserved it. Full-time result, Levy Finn is off to the e Champions League, and Anders Vergang is not. The two teammates had to go head-to-head. -head. And I'll tell you now, Levy Finn being coached by the current virtual Bundesliga champion winner as well. There is just a good feeling in the air that he might be the best player alongside, but you can even argue... I mean, Johnny, if you look at the stats of... Some of the most deadliest players in this tournament. Last few minutes left in this one now, but it's by Leverkusen, whose season keeps on getting better as well. He's also off to an E-Champions League. And in just a few seconds' time, Richard Buckley, the four German tickets will be confirmed. Yeah, incredible stuff. Um, two RB Leipzig players in the top four. Was it the two that we'd have predicted? Maybe not, but Levy Finn has been a player that has been on the periphery for a, a while. Yep. And he was comfortably the better player over two legs. Over was it, was it 24 close? minutes of FC, he was better. And that is the only thing that you need to know. He deserved the victory, and he will be going into that next round feeling great. He'll be going up against Mark, LDW, yep. thinking, I need to win one game, and I've got an FC Pro World Championship spot. And maybe he didn't even think that it would be Mark that he's facing. You asked him before the tournament started, you'll be playing Mark for a ch spot at the FC Pro World Championship. I think he'd have taken it. I think Mark would have probably taken it against Levy Finn as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Full-time results there in case you missed it. Anders Vergang out of the tournament here in Germany. He misses out on the Champions League. He will still be at the World Championships. And absolutely devastated, as you can see on the opposite side of your screen as well. Lucas came so close in the FC Pro Open. Unfortunately, didn't do enough to find his ticket that way through to the latter stage of this year. And again, one game away from E-Champions League, one game away from keeping your season going, and you fall short that close, you can understand how much it hurts. Yeah, absolutely, but you have to give credit to, to both the winners, both resounding Deserved winners, in my, completely. I know the scoreline is close on paper between Anders and Levy, 2-1 it will show, but to me, that was a one-way traffic. You see the, the great scenes that Johnny has already got his spot. Could be a final mm -hmm. tomorrow. Yeah. Could be a final. Both on different sides of the bracket. We'll have to wait and see. But there's the confirmation of your quarter finals here at the VBL Grand Finals. Johnny with a 6 2 victory versus Henning. Umut with a 7 2 victory. It was Mark winning, what is that, 8 2 in the end? Yep. 8 2. And then 3 2. Three two. Yeah. The scoreline. Levy Finn beating. RB Leipzig Vergang. Great set of games today. Absolutely. Four players left now. So right, we've got two crazy semi-finals, haven't we? If we can see the bracket when it's ready, that'd be amazing. There it is. Johnny against RB Leipzig I mean, it's a rematch from last year's grand finals. But more importantly, as we said, these games are so important, not just to guarantee a grand final spot tomorrow, but you will get world championship tickets as well to the FC Pro World Championships, which only 32 players can do this year. So, I mean, tomorrow... Two great semi-finals.
Yeah, absolutely. I believe we are going to be joined very shortly by Levy Finn for a quick interview to talk about that game, what's coming up for him, and the guaranteed e Champions League and potentially an FC Pro World Championship. I want to ask him, were you surprised with how poorly Anders played? You can say poorly, but then sometimes... I mean, what's the secret? No, but you can say maybe Levy played that... Well, Levy played really well. Yeah, that well, that it made Anders look... That he suppressed him completely from start to finish. But... That's, I've never seen Anders. Same, it was. It was that happened yeah, before. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying I it's, get you. it's yeah, yeah. probably. Well, in my eyes, Anders has played poorly as and well as Levy playing Levy amazing. Played yeah, well. com yeah, combination of both. I hear you. I get that. 29 percent possession, wasn't it, at one point in that game? Because even it's, when he loses, typically, he still he plays well. Yeah. And he will score goals. He'll create chances. 29 percent possession, zero shots. In the second half, I think the only shots he came were from rebounds. Yeah, genuinely. He never cut him open. He never played through him. Um, so yeah, really intrigued to, to see if uh, to see what happens tomorrow with Levy Finn. Does he continue that form? If he plays like that, I don't know if I see anyone beating him. Albert, maybe. We could potentially see a Leipzig final. Yep. Which is unbelievable. Shows how stacked their roster is, even with Anders being eliminated. You must have played against a teammate before yeah multiple when how how, how 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 is it I hated it but it, it has to be done if it's in a competition you're obviously you'll play for yourself it's a 1v1 competition practice goes in behind the closed doors but ultimately you're playing for yourself so yeah you just have to get on with it we've just heard unfortunately that levy finn's english isn't up to scratch so he won't be doing an interview with us yeah i'm sure he could have given us a few words so yeah, it's it's okay. a bit we can chat to him tomorrow we can chat, <laughs> yeah, to him tomorrow. chat to him anyway let's have a look at the schedule for tomorrow's games if we can because we are back tomorrow here live from cologne get yourself down here if you can Semi-final matches, we said Johnny versus RB Leipzig's Umit. Mark will take on Levy Finn. Two of those will make the grand final. Two of those will make the FC Pro World Championships. Only one will be crowned uh, the virtual Bundesliga champion here for the 2024 season. Final thing to say from me as well before you take us out, Brandon. Um, thank you to everyone watching. It's been a bit more relaxed, been a bit more chilled. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this vibe. Uh, it'll be exactly the same tomorrow. So if you didn't like it, get to like it. It's coming back. Uh, we've got the entire night to find more trivia, more quizzes. We'll, do it. we'll have it all. Uh, it, it's going to be a, it's going to be a big day tomorrow. You can see the start time. Uh, that's 3:30 Central European Summer Time. I think I've got that right. So 2:30 in the UK. You can work out where it is. Uh, throughout the rest of the world as well. And you're going to find out by joining us live who wins the VBL 2024. Absolutely. Ryan Pessoa, Richard Buckley, it's been an absolute pleasure here. And again, thank you to everyone that has been watching us live from Cologne today. It has been a true pleasure to go from all the way from the round of 16 down to our final four. Upset shocks, four tickets given out to the E-Champions League. Tomorrow, we'll be finding our spot 16 and 17 in the FC Pro World Championship. So much more to come. Of course, there'll be a few questions as well. Testing your old but team knowledge tomorrow. All coming live from Cologne tomorrow. Sleep well, good night, and we'll see you soon. Tomorrow, it's Grand Finals time. Good night. Thank you.